<clears throat> so this is more like a it looks more like a damn like zoom meeting than anything right just trying to get my stream legs back my stream legs back I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. I must be dreaming, boy. Can you hear me? Oh, I, I can see my my thing at the bottom there. Am I streaming right now? Am I dreaming right now? Are we dreaming right now? How do I put like, see, I don't know how to put things into, oh, you left a little hearty heart. Thank you. Oh, sweet. You can just make them dance, like jump up in the air now. Just look at those classy and manly white lines in your beard. Yeah, man. Oh, I need to set up my like little sign back here. I can, I can totally put the, yeah, cool. <laughs> I see you doing, making the hearts just keep fluttering up, dude. Can you hear me though? Yeah, you can hear me, right? Not too, not too loudly right now. Manly white lines in your beard. It's been a long time, man. Last time I, I did a stream, I was covering all this up with a bandana. So let's see if we can get back into the swing of things, man. Because I haven't streamed in a long time. I haven't streamed in a time. I haven't streamed in a time. So I am back right now. I can, yes. Good level of volume. I remember last time it was a VR game in which games... Uh, you, you suck at VR games? That's what you mean, Alan? Oh, and I... Dude, I want to get back into VR chat, but I actually have the VR headset to do it with now. That's a cool look right there, man. Right? <laughs> of course, my dog is freaking crying over here now. Chico, come on. Come here, Chico. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. This is my dog, my little dog boy, fur baby. Look at this dude, man. A little handsome boy. Smile for the camera, man. Name is Chico. It does really feel like I'm just doing a Zoom call to like a whole bunch of, well, only Alan right now. <laughs> he knocked off my, my mustache flow, man. Hmm? He gets so he gets so freaking lonely, man. Yeah, that's, that's what he wants to do. He's a beagle, so beagles like to like to hang out with you. Look at this big boy. Hmm. Hmm. All right, go get in your bed, bro. Go get in your bed. Oh, yeah. Go get in your bed. He's just sitting there looking at me. <laughs> That would probably be a good series of just uh, him running around like a vlog, like a dog vlog. Right, Chico? Right, Chico? Right? Yeah, man, he just want, he wants some cuddles, you know? These dogs, they just want cuddles. I should, uh, I get you, bro. We're a lone wolf type. I also have a small Yorkie girl. She actually takes the decisions, yeah. She, she, she runs the show then, huh? All right, so how how is the? I know the quality is not great because the camera is not great on here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, set up my other computer. I was just curious what this thing can do. Like, is it is there has there been any kind of lag or anything like that? So I'm curious if this is like just a a way that I can get on here, like you know, every once in a while and just talk some shit, just hang out and just talk some shit. 
hanging out and talking shit with Frank every evening at nine. Only on Dragon TV. See my girl's glasses right here? They're pretty close to mine, though. Yeah, it's not 4K. You know what? I didn't even check the quality of what it's what it was gonna be. I wonder if I could change those settings. This is like I'm using a Chromebook right now, uh, but my 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 desktop PC is in the room. I gotta get that thing set up. But I need like a little. Uh, I got a freaking awesome little setup going on right here in the living room with a 70 inch TV. I'm not bragging. This is something I worked really hard for, but you know. Uh, the, the TV stand that we got just recently is, is freaking sick. Uh, I want to take like a picture of it just to show, but hmm, I don't know, man. Do you think I, I have fans left? You think that people would come back, <clears throat> would come back to me? You think I still have an audience? Cause I, I, I want to come back, but in a, in a, you know, like I was thinking about like, you know, making all this stuff readily available, like all the new art and all that kind of stuff, but maybe we can just make all that together, man. And by the time I finish up all that stuff, I should have just been hanging out on here. But I was doing other things, man. You know, life just, just happens. I'll go <laughs> with the Dragon Force, yeah. The Dragon Legion. I'll go to hell and back with the Dragon Force. Dragon Force sounds awesome, though, too, man. That sounds like we can make our own like superhero comic book. Dragon Force, just all the cast of characters will be there. And we got Alan Diamond. Yeah, hopefully people return because I, I had a lot of fun, man. That was like one of the best times of my life, honestly. That that was such a different thing, man. It was just, it made me feel like I was famous. I had my 15 minutes of fame, man. And uh, I never thought I would have even, you know, those, those type of fans. Like, I had a small audience, but it was such a great little, even though it was a toxic community, too. What a great audience, man. What a great, that was such so much fun. It was it was a cast of characters is the thing, man. Like, you, you can see these people being on some kind of TV show or something. Kind of wild. Let me, let me go ahead. Let me message. Uh, oh, I hate this. I don't know why the, uh, the Discord app was uh, kind of glitching on me there, but let me let me let me let me, let me text. Uh, is it st is it still up when I'm in other apps? Because I mean I can't even see what's going on. Don't know what I'm fighting for. Chico, Chico, come here, Chico. Come here, Chico. New comic, Dragon Force, where a bald, middle-aged man trying to go through uh, everyday life. Not fast, because uh, it's hot outside. What are we, kids? <laughs> yeah, man, we, we just walk really slowly, because, yeah, I mean, you know what? I, as big as I am, though, dude, I've been really just kind of like, I'm running around. The... All right, why are you interrupting me? Do you want to go outside? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Chico. Come on. Come on. Relax. Okay, lay down. Lay down, man. This guy's like a baby, man. He's like a little baby. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Okay, go night night, man. She goes still young. He's full of energy. That's right. Now he gets real lonely, man. He'll cry. Out. He'll sit outside of the kid's door at night and uh, he'll he'll cry. But we don't let him in there because he'll he'll take a shit everywhere. He'll piss like <laughs> he, he doesn't discriminate. Uh, but he's getting better though, man. I'm wondering if he. I don't think he has to go outside yet. I just took him outside, man. He did number two. That's our little fur baby, man. Me and my girl, we we that that's our baby together. We both have kids of our own. Well, this is our kid right now. It's a beautiful thing. Now he's an he's an awesome addition to the family, but he's got his little little quirks, 
little things that make them kind of a, a pain in the ass. But I'm a pain in the ass too. Chico. Chico, Chico. Chico. Go get your toy, man. Go get your toy. Give your toy. Give your toy, bro. Mia is 10 when she was a puppy. I could not drain her energy. Now she's the lead of our dogs. She's slow, but dang, our big uh, dog golden retriever is afraid of it. Really? This dude, he... Hold on a second. He wants to hang out with the kids, but the kids are all sleeping. So, or well, not in the girls' room. The girls are awake, but we got a full house. It's it's like the Brady Bunch right now, man. Three girls, three boys. It's hectic around here, but awesome though. It's been a busy time, so I, I feel like you know now is the time to to get back. So even though I feel like I'm on some kind of Zoom call, let me look you in the eye real quick, man. It's time to come back. I always felt like I have a lazy eye. Kids grow fast, mate. Tomorrow your kids will be in college. Heck yeah, man. You're right. It's really going fast, man. I can't hold on to a day. It's 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 amazing though too, man, to see the progress and to like to look at those old photos and you know to just really see how everybody's changed. Like me too. I was looking at some of my old photos and it's crazy. 40 year old man, just old as dirt. Just trying to get through life, but it's incredible. It's incredible how fast time goes. Like we can, I don't know if you guys wanted to get back together and do like a little, um, I don't know. I don't even know how it add uh, other people's audio to the broadcast though on the Chromebook. I want to try to get OBS working, but I think there's some kind of backwards thing you got to do. Like I installed Linux on here. Uh, well, it's like a Linux is running in the background on the shit. And <laughs> Come on, man. It's your deal. You got to chill. You got to chill with that. You got to chill, man. Just come lay down. Right, get off of that. You better watch it, dude. Look. Come here. Come on. Get in there. Lay down. Lay down, man. I had to like put him in his bed and Let's see, you can probably see him here. <laughs> Let me shine a, shine a light on the situation, man. See, see that guy? It's kind of messy in here. It's okay, life happens. Uh, take your time, come to Harvest Streams and chat with the guys so they know you're back. Uh, am I officially back? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, you know, I think, I think I'll try this a little bit here and there. Let me, let me see if I, if I turn this light on, if it, if it make the quality any better. Don't know how I got this way. Never be all right. And I'm breaking the habit tonight. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Still looks like a Zoom meeting, though. But I think people are used to that. It's like I, I can be that Zoom call that just puts you to sleep at night. That'd be that'd be my new. You know, I can I can put people to sleep, put people to bed with my voice at night. You know, sweet dreams are upon you. It's time to let go and let those eyes close. I never saw the mastery of the shadow ghost I saw during the Metroid Prime stream. Was it uh, the mystery? Uh, what you're talking about Metroid Prime 2 or Metroid Prime 1? Because I don't, 
I was kind of watching the beginning of that stream again just to see if there was any like. So I want to play that again, honestly, on the Switch. I want to play that in in the, in the new format. Like it, it looks like it's just going to be like first person shooter mode rather than like use the. I enjoyed using the um, the Wii like stick and everything, but the Wii Mo is what you call it, the Wii stick. What the hell? What am I, an old man? The Wii stick. The wee little stick. It's a tiny stick. It's a wee stick. Speaking of that, I've been using like stick training with him. I just uh, just been tapping a stick in front of him and, and showing him where to go or tapping it behind him to get to get him to move. Not tapping him with it, but like tapping behind him. Just get him, uh, you know. So, so when you. House was haunted, uh, economy was better, and Biden was probably better at climbing stairs. <laughs> but yeah, Biden was better at climbing stairs. I mean, this dude still wants one of the kids to be in here with him, man. Come here, Chico. Chico. Come on, Chico. Come on. There's a toy right here. Chico, come on. Come on. Let's see if he climbs up on the chair. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Yo, Sebastian, is that you, dude? Look at my, look at my boy right here, man. So look at my boy. Look, I look like a, just a huge American right now, man. Damn, I need to get rid of this spare tire. What I got going on here, dude? Hashtag not sponsored by, uh, by Miller. Indeed, it's you, sir. How you doing, Sebastian? Let me look you in the eye right now, man. What's going on? <laughs> Put my girlfriend's glasses on instead. Looks like some kind of crazy professor, as it were. Professor Franklington, is that you? I presume. Yeah, dude. I, I, I'm. I'm this, this is me slowly creeping up. Uh, what time is it right now? Two, two in the morning. Uh, I should have started at three, man. Hot night of chill talks with Professor Frank. Welcome, everybody. We have a seminar, a three-hour, what do you call that? What do you call What do you call your, damn it, it's like, like the last thing that you write for, what's it called? Damn it. Uh, like well, your, your last exam in college. Damn, I don't know. Your final exam, but your thesis, your thesis. So tonight we'll discuss the thesis of, oh, AI, man. Dude, I want to mess with some more AI because uh, I was I was doing some AI-generated images and stuff. And some of the stuff is really sick. So I'd like to do, you know, like have you guys suggest things uh, in the chat and then I could make some uh, AI stuff out of it. That would also like push me to do some more art stuff too. But I need to get faster and stronger. <sighs> need to learn how to do some things and some stuff. How's it been going, Sebastian? Like, uh, you guys, what's you know, catch catch me up on on all the the gossip, you know, all the hot goss that I missed when I was out uh, on hiatus for a million years, you know. I want to get back the uh, in the chat also all the games and things like that. Um, you know, like the the in chat currency and AI is uh, scary. And I'm, I'm enjoying life before I have to bow before a, a mechanical overlord. We already bow before mechanical overlords. I mean, our phones. Uh, this laptop right here is my entrance into into the world. Like my 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 door into the world to speak window, I guess you could say into the world, uh, speaking you guys to you guys uh, directly. I did have some medicated brownies earlier. So if I start slurring my words, then that is why. Uh, check out this uh, awesome little setup we got going over here, man. It's like a little sanctuary in the living room. <laughs> I thought I'd get on here and ramble a little bit and just, just talk at you for a little bit. You know what I mean? 
To be honest, nothing new on my end. I live in, I live an extremely introverted hermit life. It's crazy out there, man. I'm trying to live that life right now. I'm trying to get back into um, <clears throat> like just doing. So my buddy has a job opportunity. It could be work at home. If I get that, then things will change. I'll live a, I'll live a hermit life and, and work like, uh, I don't know, 10, 11 hours a day as a hermit. And then probably get into live streaming hardcore again because I, I really miss it. And I just want to do some stupid shit. I want to just make up some characters. I want to do some wild stuff, crazy wild stuff. And I, I just want to do different things, man. I think I, I want to lean heavily into the VR. What do, what do you think about the VR stream? Even though it was kind of, I was really shitty at the game, though, Alan. But <laughs> but I mean, uh, those VR games are pretty awesome. I think maybe some like VR chat with actual, you know, the VR headset going on and all that. I'm almost thinking because I'm on vacation this week. I'm almost thinking I want to hook up my my PC out here and just mess around. Uh, working as an English teacher is boring. Them little shits don't want to learn anything. Yeah, but uh, didn't you say you had, I mean, you don't have social anxiety usually, right? Because, um, yeah, I, I would be horrible. I would have stage fright doing something like that. Like, I don't know, because I don't I don't know if you, did, did you say before that you would be nervous to do a live stream like this, though? Like talking to the camera? Because the, talking to the camera is easy for me. Like, it's just me and the camera right now. But for me to sit in front of a classroom? Oh. That was my front light, my girl, my girl's PC. Yeah, my girlfriend's PC is right here in front of me. So this is her work PC. She works at home. I would like to do that, too. I like this whole, uh, in the chat, you could just throw those little, like, uh, emojis and stuff up there like that. That's pretty cool. I think that's how they do it on, on Twitch, right? Like, they just start spamming all these little emojis that are flying up. Yeah, like the little heart floaters like that. Exactly. Hopefully, they, people can see that in the chat replay. So, if you miss this stream, like, I know some of you are probably going to comment about, then you can sit, you can see all those little flutters of, uh, but for if you don't know what I'm talking about, like, in the chat for the live stream, there's little emojis that kind of float up. You probably seen that stuff on other. Oh, Facebook does that shit too. I have agoraphobia. I'm actually super good at talking in public. My thing is more about going solo, far away from here. But if my brother and I could travel to each other's countries, where does your brother live then? Oh, to other travel to other countries. Oh, not. Why did I read that as each other's countries? Like <laughs> he's living in another country. Okay, to other countries. Okay. Honestly, yeah, I want to I want to do some travel too, but right now, I think cuz VR that's I've been really talking a lot about VR lately. I want to play uh, Metroid Prime in VR. That'd be so sick, but yeah, I'm I'm leaning heavily into VR these days. Like there there's a uh, Resident Evil 4, there's this Mercenaries mode that's really fun. I I'm it's really tough too because I can I can't even get to the next uh there, there's like a high school it's real arcadey and that, that right there is, man, when I found that, I was just so happy with that. Uh, I was messing with a couple of them. There's a survival one called Green Hell. And when you go, like, take bandages and actually wrap them around your arm and, you know, that thing, that type of stuff is immersive. But at the same time, it looks like PS2 graphics. So I mean, a lot of people, that 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 kind of turns them off about it. There's a, There's other games that look better. And they're pushing the boundaries of uh, the graphics and stuff, but for the most part, you know, like if you're playing on the Quest, a standalone headset, you gotta expect it to be kind of lower graphics. This is like this is this is like the NES days, kind of. Well, I don't think we're in the NES days yet because you know a lot of people adopted video games when the NES came out. This is more of the Atari days. Like you knew some friends that had Atari, but. Not all, not all your friends did, but as soon as NES came out, everybody had that. We're we're waiting for the NES uh, version of VR, if you know what I mean. Like that level of like hype that NES had that changed video game history because video games was in the dumper. It was dead. It was a dead medium at one point, and they were you know casting away all these Atari systems and shit. So they were 
the video games as an industry was dead, man. But then Nintendo revived it. So that we're waiting on our, like, the Oculus made a lot of people adopt it. But it's maybe it's because of the population is so different these days, too, because back in the day, you would know about NES because you're watching TV as a kid, watching cartoons, and then Mario shows up on the screen. But not all these kids watch the same stuff, so <sighs> stuff gets advertised on TikTok. They're playing Roblox. That's the big thing right now. But you know what? Speaking of Roblox. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of Roblox, it's going to be in uh, VR soon. It's coming to the Quest. So I think that might be the killer app that makes headsets actually sell, like off, fly off the shelves, and maybe it'll bring the price down. And if that happens, if they bring the price down and more people get into it, say, say they have Quest at like $150. Because then, you know, the price goes down because there's such a demand for it. Well, the price is going to go up at first, but then eventually I would say that it's going to. And, and of course, the Quest 3 is coming out, too. So <clears throat> video games are at a strange point right now. Like population don't want to consider it art, but the industry of games is bigger than music and movies put together. Yeah. It's, it's definitely art because it makes you feel something. Art is supposed to make you feel shit. So. You're supposed to, it's supposed to move you in some way. And video games definitely, they scratch that itch, but they scratch it even further, especially to me, especially VR. Dude, I, I love sitting in front of a TV and playing flat screen games like the old school way. Mario 64, I'll go back and play Luigi's Mansion. I'll go back and play all that shit. But to actually sit there and be and feel like you're presently in this world, like, even if it's a low poly world, a low uh, resolution world, it, it just it just has there's this feeling of presence that you know you can't get in a flat screen game. And if you, a lot of people get motion sickness and they can't even they can't even get through a session of VR. So once but once you get your VR legs and you're able to like you know navigate. I've been playing freaking like Minecraft and VR and dude, a whole bunch of other shit that it's just, it's nuts. When I was a, a 10, when you're a 10 year old, you teared up with uh, what? When zero died in Mega Man. Oh, oh when you were 10, you teared up because uh, zero died in Mega Man. Okay. Yeah. It gives a lot of people like my daughter can't play it. Like Minecraft, uh, I, I set up the uh, Minecraft with uh, with mods on my PC, and she loved that. But she couldn't play the VR one. But the VR one, to me, it's freaking crazy, man. It's it's like the blocks are as big as like this desk that I'm sitting at right now. Uh, I say about half the desk. Yeah, but it's still freaking huge, though, man. Like a block in front of you, and that and that's just a block. Uh, see, I'm seeing more of the potential of what VR can be more than what it is right now because you can you can see that it's starting to transform and by the next generation i think it's going to be nuts because all the the stuff there's something called ar too you probably know what that is but it's a uh, augmented reality and uh you know that stuff existing in your living room you can see stuff moving around your living room you can see if you wanted to take a, a small building and just throw it next to your fridge and be like dude i have a uh, this, a skyscraper next to my, my fridge. That's pretty sick. Uh, or, if, you know, for, for another, for a use case that actually would exist in a game is like, uh, you're playing a first person shooter. You, you go into your hallway and then there's a guy there that you can shoot, you know, and in front of you, there's your, your hands are holding a gun. If you want to impress your kids today, uh, version of Cowboys, just tell them to play Contra one on NES. <laughs> yeah. When they fail to proceed to finish the game with three lives. Yeah, you have to put the 30 life in, uh, code in there for them to practice first. Man, Minecraft VR is insane, especially when you run up in a cave, almost fall into a crevasse. Yeah, dude. <laughs> when you, and just the fact that you can, you know, in VR, you know, you can, you can move around and look over a ledge. And you're looking over that ledge, you know, like with your head movement, you're going forward and moving your body around. That, that shit is crazy, man. But also, like, in Minecraft, you're not supposed to be able to go under a, a one-block space. But you can actually crawl like that. All right, chill. Hey. Chill out, man. Relax. Relax. 
go to sleep. Okay. You guys can probably hear him crying, right? It's a whole different ball game from when I, I was streaming before. I was living in my mom's house. We were, we were uh, just – I was struggling to even – know what the hell being a man was. I'm still struggling. That does uh, remind me of a guy who played that VR game that you're walking a plank. Yeah. Uh, Richie's plank experience, I think it's called. Outside of a tall building, and they freak out when they fall, forgetting they're one centimeter from the floor. Yeah, some people actually, they'll put a real plank on the floor uh, and then put the VR headset on their spouse. You know, like, oh, here, honey try this experience and they're walking on the plank and it since they're walking on an actual plank in real life it makes them feel like they're more immersed and then when somebody goes and pushes you off that plank that real life plank even though you're only going like a, an inch away from the ground yeah they freak the fuck out because it feels like it's real for you know you know one of the one of the, okay i'll give you a scenario when i was playing there's a game called super hot in vr so there's people that may, are made completely of crystal. There are these people that look like they're made of red crystal. And they're coming towards you. They're trying to attack you. And when they, when you go to, like, punch them in VR, they shatter. Like, you know, it's crystal and all that. But uh, you, there's a, if there's a table in front of you, you can hide behind the table. You know, grab the guns midair, but, you know, and, and shoot the people. But when you're when, when you see the table in VR, especially, like, when you, when you first get into VR... It feels like that table's really there. Hey, hey, come here, come. Here. It feels like that table's really there. So you go to lean forward, and the table's not there. So you you fall forward because you think that table's going to support you, but it doesn't support you, bro. You fall right through because there's no damn table there. But your mind tells you that you know this world exists in front of you. You look up at these tall buildings, man, these huge buildings, and it feels like you they're, they actually have height. Not like when you're looking at a flat screen game, it's like, oh, that's cool. When, uh, maybe when you're a kid and you, you look up for the first time and you're playing like Spider-Man 2 on the PS2, and you're like, oh, that's really awesome. That's crazy. I can go there. I can, I can do that stuff. I can, I can do, you know. You got full free reign on the whole world, man, and then to do that in VR where you can, you're looking at stuff and it looks like it's actually there, like the scale. <clears throat> you still have a uh, Discord running, Frank? I haven't used that app in a while. Yeah, I do. I was just talking to Chris. No. No, man. Hey, come here. Oh, yeah, I was using it. I'm not used to using a, a Chromebook. He might have fallen asleep, though. I don't know. Yeah, I was talking to him on Discord. I still, I'm still connected on there, but I haven't been active as for for a long time, really. I just haven't been social for a long time. Oh, Chris, haven't heard from him in ages. Yeah, no, we talk, we talk pretty often, but you know, there's sometimes uh, when we don't, um, we don't have time to speak to each other. I got a whole bunch of family stuff going on. Can't wait for that crazy bastard. We'll put laser, oh, tasers in a suit and get you tased for real if you're hurting the game. Oh, yeah, there's a, a haptic suit where, like, you can feel impact. You can feel people, like, touching you. Uh, I want it to be where you can feel the rain. Like, if you just want to experience where you're just chilling out in the rain, like, you, that's the thing about VR, too. You can have, like, VR chat. Just explore different areas if i want to go to the breath of the wild map and just look around i would just be in awe just looking around forget about the functionality of the game you know in real life sometimes you go to a place to just chill and, and look around but you know if i want to spin around in my chair and, and just feel like i'm in you know some other world you know it'd be crazy to and i've done that and i've just sat there and just soaked in these worlds though but uh Say, say you want to have a setting where it's like lo-fi music playing uh, from a real radio. So, you know, every time you turn your head, like, you know, that it'll be coming from a certain direction. So you have that full virtual, that full sound, that surround sound. When you move around, it moves with you. So say you're spinning around in your chair. You can, you can also feel the rain going on your, 
on your haptic suit <laughs> and uh, you can feel the coldness of it hitting your skin and all that. Yeah, there is a way to do that. It's pretty expensive right now. And also, I don't think they're big boy friendly either. So that's the problem. I think somebody recently built a suit like that for Assassin's Creed game. <clears throat> yeah, that Assassin's Creed game is supposed to be coming to the Quest also. I'm curious about that because they had some pre-rendered footage that they played. So it's not really a trailer. It's more of an announcement. You're basically telling us that you're in the uh, er really early stages of no gameplay. Like, okay, that's a cool little thing that you've built there. First person Assassin's Creed. Uh, that's going to be fun as hell, though. So you don't really even need a trailer. The hype is already there. The hype is, it doesn't matter. If you just, just, you know, you could have showed a logo like they did with uh, the new Metroid Prime game, Metroid Prime 4, which got delayed again, right? But they could have just showed a logo of Assassin's Creed VR, and people would have pissed their pants like, oh, wow, yes, an actual AAA coming to the, you know, that's that's going to bring VR to the next step. We need more, we need GTA 6 in VR, and that'll bring GTA to, that'll be bring VR to the mainstream. Everybody and their mother will get that because they, they just want to go around and shoot people, drive the cars crazy, and jump off freaking cliffs and, and parachute and, and grab somebody's bike and and freaking that would be so sick, man. Full full freaking like body tracking and you're on a bike just like grabbing a gun and yeah, long time, Pablo. What's up? Man, we even more pride high uh. Uh, lights went out. Got to pay the bill. There it is. Man, I'm even more hyped for Metroid Prime 4 because Metroid Prime Remastered is so damn beautiful. I want to play the Remastered, dude. <clears throat> I want to play that in Tears of the Kingdom. I think those are going to be... Ha it, might, it might have to be a Metroid game that because when I when I actually first started getting famous, it was, it was because of Super Metroid. That was the game that actually brought me to a different audience, like that was one of my best streams that I've ever had. I think I got like 70, 80 subscribers that night. Nope. It was, super, it was supposed to be, I think, AM2R at first. And then it turned into Super Metroid because I couldn't get AM2R working. <clears throat> but then I got AM2R working and the rest is history, my friend. The rest is history. Life is a mystery. Killing uh, properties will never be the same after that. Killing pro prop tights? What is that? I got pulled in during your first Metroid Prime playthrough. Uh, play I remember that day like it was yesterday. My first stream of Frank was the Pocket Mortys. For real? <laughs> Such a silly. Did that, is that what brought you in? Like, Is that what made you want to Stay is because I was playing like Rick and Morty type stuff. Or what made you stick around? What made both of you guys kind of stick around and, and just kind of hang out every stream? Come on, come on, Yeah, mom. I just got to run off sometimes and just to chase the dog because he's crying and waking everybody up. That's a problem too. Is like you know, I like to do this this type of stuff late at night. That's when I get to like the mojo. I'll be talking to myself like I'm actually streaming sometimes, and be like you know, just speaking in like an announcery voice for no reason at all. Like I, I've the whole time I felt like I was still streaming, but to no one. <laughs> this the all these years. I didn't know the game existed. And I was like, what was this dude playing? Rick and Morty game? So I entered and never left because it felt like chilling with friends. It did feel like chilling with friends, man. You know why it felt like that? Because we were friends. You know what I'm saying? Friends to the end, man. I stuck around because I'm obsessed with Metro and I love watching first time playthroughs. Then your personality really sold me. Nonstop laughs. Good times, dude. I had some of the greatest times. That was like the, the best nerding out that I've ever done in my life. 
it didn't even feel real sometimes because uh, when I, I think I, I think the biggest night I've ever had as far as like being live to, I think it was like forty people at one thirty people uh, thirty might have been the peak, thirty people at once, but imagine thirty people watching you do anything, you know. I was at a funeral and I spoke at a funeral recently and there was about 30 people there. So I didn't really feel nervous though this time. Like I, like I would have been in the past. There was something, there was a whole different vibe going. There was a whole different aura going on there. Cause I, I was close to the person. So I think that that really puts it over the edge of what, you know, what you can do emotionally though. Well, to, to get deep for a second, you know, that, that kind of puts things in perspective and makes you realize your own mortality and, like, what are the things that really make me happy? Like, my family makes me happy right now. I'd be nothing without them. But also, this makes me happy, like, getting in touch with you guys and, like, actually doing something that matters and shit that you remember that, that you guys, you know, somebody created nostalgia with that. Like, there was probably... One of those kids came in here, watched it, and like, oh, well, that was a, a late night thing that I watched as a kid. The guy doesn't do it anymore, but that that was like them watching something on PBS or some shit, you know, like some or some late night weird thing on Comedy Central that they they stumbled upon. I was that shit because I would start at three a.m. and and watch heavyweights. Watching heavyweights makes me happy. <laughs> Uh, I have this power which allows me to not be embarrassed to doing stupid things in front of any level of any multitude. It does backfire most times. It, it, it backfires for me a lot too because I feel like I say a lot of shit that sounds really stupid. And then I'm like, oh shit, do I sound stupid right now? And I'm listening to my words and then I start stumbling because I'm watching my words too closely. So I noticed that with dumb people, they just spit things out without uh, like stuttering. It's just, it's just a stuttering. There's Chris. All those late night streams with you and Chris and that one fried dude. I really miss all that fried dude. What do you mean? Uh, he's fried. Are you talking about? Are you talking about the 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 dude Tony that he just, is that you mean like mentally fried? Dude, it's good to have just a trio of friends here, man. The fried dude, to yeah, Tony. <laughs> Fried. He's like a, a green fried tomato or something, right? Southerners all hell. Play the DS version. I mean, you can just start that game over. It won't even matter. Just start it over. Wait, hold on. I got somebody knocking from my basement real quick. Shut up. I'm trying to talk to people. You know I don't do that often, so. Yeah, anyways, so if you start the Contra in the other version, you can get the I don't even know what the fuck. I, I don't even know how I got through that game because I, I did. I knew nothing about like turn-based RPGs and shit. Mom, this is my time, my time right now. You you just go in there and make sure that girl in the basement don't move around too much. I don't know. I don't remember exactly how he talked, but I think I used to do uh like like an impression of the um the neighbor on the Cleveland show. Cause that's kind of what he reminded me like of. Uh, so he's like, "Hey, Cleveland, I don't know what's going on here, but you, my wife <laughs> ain't on my little Debbie cakes. <laughs> I don't know, man. My wife ain't on my little Debbie cakes. I can do it better when when I'm not on. Can you please come here? Come here. Come. Come, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Cletus." Come on, Cletus. Here, come on. Let's show you to Chris, man. Puppy stream. I should have just called it puppy stream, bro. I would have got. I would have had a million people here. Just like, like have a, a puppy, puppy footage, and and. Uh... I don't know what's going on. No, chill out, man. Oh, you chill out. You say hello to the nice people, okay? Yeah, he's a little hunting dog. 
All right, go to bed, man. Take your ass to bed. I think he wants to go outside, man. Jesus. No, he wants to see the kids is really what he really wants to do. But Chico, Chico, Chico. Come on. Come on. Come on, Chico. Come here. He's spoiled. He he loves the kids, man. Like, uh, but I don't want him hanging out in the room because he shits and pisses. And yeah, the fox and the hound dog. Yeah, he, he is kind of a little hound dog. Yeah, he's half beagle and half bulldog. But you, you know, he's not full of that bullshit. You can't you can't see the bullshit. He's got big paws on him though. Come on, come on, <laughs> Chico, Chico, come on, Chico. Here, snowflake. Here, snowflake. It's from Ace Ventura. Must have been really loud on on the stream, right? Okay, I found it was uh, around seven years ago when I entered Pocket Morty stream. So you can say, Frank, you have created uh, nostalgic memories in your streams. Oh man, Chico, 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 come on, Chico, come on. How can I? I need to. Give this dude a fucking snack. Hold on a second. Come here. Come here. Look. <clears throat> here. We'll feed, we'll feed him on stream then, right? Come here. Come here. Come on. Get up here. Come on. Uh, he he was born on this on Cinco de Mayo, bro. So he's like super. <laughs> that's freaking super Spanish. So they, they, you know, he was little when he when we got him, and Chico just means little in Spanish. So get a little snacky poo, red boy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him eat it on the ground though, or on the floor rather. Yeah, Chico is uh, just means little in Spanish. So when when people call call him little Chico, they're just saying little little. Welcome the new owner of the stream. Oh, Chico is the owner. Of the, yeah, dude. I, I, if I if I have Chico in the thumbnail, I'll get so many clicks, dude. Just to know that a little fur baby showed up on the screen. People will wait. They'll they'll go through all the they'll rifle through all this bullshit. So stay tuned, folks. You see more Chico uh, in the stream, little by little. I'll, go, I'll just I'll sneak him in. So if you're watching this uh, as a video that's been published after the stream, welcome. And Chico will be back. Just listen to all of our bullshit. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, you know so I don't have a Patreon, so I can't I can't promote that shit. But I can I can start hustling these to heart to tail dog biscuits. They'll make your dog shut the fuck up. That was a good take. Keep that one. I guess not. You still you still crying. I told you. You need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Send your money through the Pentagon. The Pentagon or Patreon or which, whichever one. It don't matter. Send your money somewhere. It'll get to somebody. So if it doesn't go to me to support this stream, it'll support some shit. <laughs> Daddy doesn't like it. Why fur baby act a crazy? They'll never use it for super weapons, right? Oh, no, never. What the fuck? Shit. Oh. Come on, bro. I gave you a tree. Man. Come See if the tennis ball works, huh? 
see if the tennis ball works. Look, Chico. <sighs> yeah, but like, uh, what was I saying? I don't know what the fuck I was saying, man. I had to go grab a tennis ball for a dog that wouldn't shut up. Oh, he was, he was playing soccer uh, yesterday. We were kicking the soccer ball around. I was having fun with that shit. We're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to take him. I took the girls to the mall yesterday. We spent so much money. It wasn't even them. It was, it was me that spent more. <laughs> I just was picking up shit. I got, oh, oh, I got like a new surge protector and everything for my room. Like one of those little box surge protectors that so I can set up my PC and shit in there. I want to be able to stream from there. No, man. Dude, he's freaking tearing the shit up now. Look at that. He just ripped the damn seam into that shit. These are the ones that are supposed to be for that fucking... Let me show you. Hold on. Tell, tell me that you guys had these as a kid, man. Like, you, you strapped this sucker to your hand, right? Playing Rocket League soccer, yeah. Like, uh, Rocket League with a dog. Like, can you, oh, that's a good, dude, that's a good freaking idea for a game, though, man. You just, Rocket League for dogs? With, uh, with dogs as playable characters? Damn, he need, where's his tennis ball, man? I don't want you ripping this shit up. But you just, you know? <laughs> you just... Yeah, the tennis ball. This is like a 90s thing, right? I saw this at uh, Five Below, man. Five Below, dude. And you know what? It was below five. Nah, oh, dude, you need your own tennis ball. You can't rip this one up. Hold on, look. Look, right here. Right here, right Now I'm wondering if I can take this shit apart. It's a tennis ball. Like, I feel like I'm doing like a, a freaking dog vlog already, man. If you want to think about it, this is kind of a dog vlog. I want to be able to just... Here, just get that shit. If all you want to do is chew it up, then just chew this fucking shit up then, man. Do that shit. Yeah, that's how I talk to him. He doesn't know what I, he don't know I'm, that I'm cursing. You little fuck, right? Right, you little shit? Silly little asshole. People won't like that, though. They're going to think that I'm mistreating dogs. And they're not going to, uh, you know, send money to my Patreon. So I'm going to have to do commercials. What is it called? Heart to tail. Buy this if you want your dog to shut the fuck up. And if he doesn't, give him a goddamn tennis ball. Heart to tail. Mm, it's hard to tell. But they're dog snacks because they taste so good. So you got beef flavor, chicken flavor, turkey flavor, bacon flavor, sausage flavor. Go to hardtotail.com. Dude, what, what do you want, though? What do you want, though? What do you mean you want gameplays and Frank Stream? Everybody knows we promote dog toys in here since day one. That's right. That's correct. He wants this one. He wants to tear the shit out of it, man. I'm not having it, dude. This thing is too precious. I bought two sets of these. I was going to buy three sets of these things. I might go back and get, like, fucking two more, honestly, though, when I get paid. I want to keep some that are just still in the in the netting and shit. Like, if they don't have them next summer, then they're in the closet ready for next summer. It's such a freaking summertime toy, man. You just... You got, you got to have one of those... I wish we had a yard, because we'd have... Dude, I'd have, like, five or six of those damn slides that you, you get from uh, Walmart or... You can get them, you can probably get them from Dollar Tree now. And just have like five or six slides and just oil them up. Dad'll be out there doing some sliding and flipping and all types of crazy shit. Yeah, we we just been going out and playing catch, man. Just keeping it primitive, keeping it like real. <coughs> uh, I need some water. There's a bottle right there. 
<clears throat> Back then, five bucks for Transformers toy. The same toy these days, but new version costs like forty-seven. Yeah, damn. Inflation, but also it's you know that's the, that's the way it is, man. It just keeps it just keeps going and going and going. I made these brownies. This is when it's gonna turn into like a <laughs> hippie stream, dude. I made these brownies and they're kicking in right now. He's being an asshole. He's being a real asshole. Come on. Come on. Come here. What's wrong with you? Come here. Here, come on. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna shill you. Is that is that is that what that's the term? Uh shilling? No. Oh no no no. Oh, I'm a good doggy papa. Oh, I'm a such a good doggy papa. Oh, baby. Oh, the nice people will love you. Don't, don't cry like this, papa. No. No, papa. <clears throat> you want some arroz con pollo? Oh, yeah, you want some, papa. <laughs> he wants to go see the kids, man. Oh, come on, Papa. Don't be like this now. Nah, come on now, nah, Papa. No, 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 no. Tomorrow on the news, YouTube streamer gets challenged to eat uh, brownies and eats nine, then proceeds to have a fight with a tree at four in the morning. It's almost four now. Let's go. Uh, it's three. It's almost three. So we got to wait around another hour for these things to really kick in. And then I'm going to take the dog out and punch a tree. Minecraft style. You know, it takes some time. Nope. Don't do that. Go sit in your bed. Get in your bed. Get in your bed, bro. So this is going to train him right now to be away from the kids because he's not, he's used to just sleeping with them. So they've been sleeping out here on the couch and they, he's been sleeping out here with them. He's, he's, a, he's a little pack animal boy. Real social, this guy. He's never been left alone either, so that's another thing that we got to kind of oh, wean into a little bit. Wean into? Is that, a, is that the right term? Lean into and wean him into? Get on the scene, Pimento. Dogs and kids are a team. <coughs> No. Uh. I got I have allergies like when he was in my face like that's probably not the greatest thing, but <clears throat> you can't you can't resist some doggy kisses. Uh they get used to each other and get separation anxiety. That's true, man. That's what's happened. You can tell he he won't stop crying, so but is it uh is it annoying or is it like does it is it kind of cute that he's I want to know what kind of scale we're, we're looking at to where if, if people hear a dog crying on stream, they're like, I'm out. Come on, bro. Don't be like that. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Come here. Chico, come on. Chico. Chico. Come on. Come here. Come here. Get him used to the, you know, the separation anxiety. But then when I'm not here playing with him at night, what is he going to do? He's probably going to lash out and take a shit in the corner. Be like, where are all these humans at? Where are all these humans? <clears throat> oh boy. Yeah, this party really died, man. One person left. Just Alan now, huh? It's just me and you, Alan. Me and you against the world. Yeah, it's a little better to let them be dogs, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't understand what's going on. He doesn't get it. 
<coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, my allergies get pretty bad when he's up in my face like that. That's why I got to usually just pet him when he's down on the ground. He just can't stay away from the hallway. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta be doing some <clears throat> something on the stream that is is different. So, yeah, some of them are even more late. Yeah, that's true. That's what was kind of keeping me from doing it in the first place. Chico, come on. Chico. 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 You see, like, every time that I try to stream, too, something like that happens where it's just an all-night thing of, of something like this. Like that's what, that's what makes me hesitant, too. So, Dude, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I really need my own man cave where I can do the shit too. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, it was cute at first, but come here. Come on. Yeah, I think he wants to go out, man. Trying to buy a 3DS XL from a Mexican online eBay like web, but you need to check every 30 minutes. Oh well, yeah, you're trying to get a 3DS <clears throat> oh, yeah, XL. Do you already have the regular 3DS too? Or? Oh my God, this dude. <coughs> Hold on a second. It died because apparently a 3DS cannot survive a fall from a three-story building. What the hell? What do you mean? Oh, your original one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what? what's the story behind that shit then? What? How did you drop a 3DS from a three-story building? What? What? Yeah, I baby mine, man. Like you were just kind of like talking and hanging the uh, the thing over the edge or something. Or... I thought I heard him crying again, man. I, I just let him sleep with one of the boys in the room for now because I just can't take that crying anymore. But he's gonna get his ass out of there when when I'm done with this, though. Yeah, um, I kinda, I really kind of baby my stuff, so. Was that something that uh, somebody else did, or was that something that you did? The uh, uh, has the quality dropped it. I mean, the quality of the stream is one thing, but has the uh, how are the frames and all that kind of stuff as far as that goes? <clears throat> if I can get it, maybe I can get an external camera going here. It was overkill story. I had connected charging normal stuff in the bolt box outside. The house got hit by a branch. The power jumped, frying everything inside the, the 3DS. Oh, okay. Oh, that story. That story was a. Uh, <laughs> well, you were just hyping it up a little bit more. But I can I can see why. Yeah, the because the quality right now it's like it's a very Zoom call. Oh, God killed your 3DS. Yeah. <clears throat> the power jump and everything, but <coughs> was it on was it on a surge protector though? But you said it was uh I had it connected charging. Yeah. Was it on a surge protector or was it just kinda in the wall? Because that might have been prevented. <clears throat> Uh, 
Well, he said he got hit by a branch, though. Well, the power jumped. So, okay. I don't know. I don't know how that affects. <laughs> I don't know. Why I was thinking of a, a bolt of lightning when I saw the word bolt. The bolt box. Okay. It's the brownies. <clears throat> but I honestly think that Metroid Prime Remaster would be my entrance back into streaming, though. No, I was I was thinking it was a. Uh, uh, like, did you have a surge protector in the wall? Is what I was asking. Like something that would protect from those type of surges, though. Like when the you know when you get a lightning a lightning storm and it uh, it kind of fries everything in the house. You know the surge protector is supposed to help with that. It's supposed to like shut off and not a big not let a big jolt go inside the the, the devices. You know. I could be over explaining things. I don't know. It's, I probably am. But we're having fun. And I definitely would do, uh, I think, Metroid first, and then Tears of the Kingdom, though. <clears throat> I usually do, but the one where <coughs> oh, oof. it was connected didn't have one because Mexico is... Uh... No, but you but you don't have those ready. Like, you, you can't buy those, like... In your uh, local, like, I don't know if you have, you have Walmart, right? You have to have Walmart, don't you? Or you said you have the equivalent of the Walmart. I don't remember what you were saying about that before. Is that ASMR style? That's the opposite of ASMR. I still have my doubts about Metroid 4 releasing on Switch. You think it's going to go to the next Nintendo console? Is that what you mean? You think you don't think it's at all going to get uh, released this generation, or you don't think it's going to get released at all? Because, I mean... <clears throat> what was the thumbnail for this? My Just, just my logo, my old crappy logo. And we, in here... We use like a connector that connects to the wall socket and that protects the electronics if energy jumps. <clears throat> like before the switch is past, like, past its life cycle. <clears throat> Usually it's like every five years or so, right? That they come out with a console. So uh, 2017, was it 2017 when the switch came out? <clears throat> I'm honestly curious to see what's next from them though. So there's got to be something that they're gonna they're gonna put out. Cause I mean the Switch Lite is like that's like the new Game Boy really, but it's also the home console. But I mean that's kind of weird because the home console and the and the uh, portable console generation is the they're, they're the same device. Metroid 4 was announced before the Switch was released for the public, along with uh, Bayonetta 3, and they restarted production three times. We have absolutely no new info. Yeah, I know. But hopefully they... I think they're going to do a holiday direct, right? And I think that would be the perfect time to have Metroid Prime 4 <clears throat> just be almost ready to be like, released. And maybe, dude, if it comes out in like November... And they, they just kind of been hiding things from people because people are like, I don't want to hear any new shit unless you tell me that the game's coming out. <clears throat> like, soon. So, say they had, like, a direct in September or something. And then it comes out in October or November. That'd be fucking sick. <clears throat> they better be creating something that justifies the time. That game took longer than Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, but the Zelda team is a whole different team, though. The Zelda team is tight. They're they're well oiled. They're an oiled machine, bro. Just like, just like the machines you can make in their new game. Like they're, <clears throat> they keep their their shit moving, dude. They, I'm sure they have tons of ideas that they're probably two or three games ahead as far as creativity goes. They are machines themselves, yeah, dude. The complex puzzles that they create, the all this different crazy stuff, like. 
sticking freaking things to it's been it's happened in other games though that you know the, this whole like uh putting logs together and then making a boat but you know a lot of stuff's on pc though <clears throat> nintendo uh nintendo but also like so the metroid team is the whole is different i think that's what like retro studios or some some shit like that but then the zelda team is a whole different division of nintendo that just keeps pumping shit out. Like, I mean, they're just, they're crazy. They're fucking crazy. I mean, they, 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 they kind of like change the industry every time now. Every time they come out with a game. <clears throat> Kid who apologized for them, he hated women. What? What are you talking about? <coughs> I don't know if this water is good either. This water was just kind of sitting here. I will not realize this is all the game until gamers can create a flame throwing giant penis shaped robot. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Looks like you were sitting on that one right there, penis shaped robot. The kid who ammo had a mod. Kid who apologized for them. Oh, oh, you're talking about. Ah, shit. What was that person's name, dude? He was on MRI stream. Uh, oh, he had like a. His name was Zelda at one point, I think, on their stream. But what was that? Um, on my stream, it was... Fuck me, man. I can't remember. <clears throat> it's like, yeah. Uh... Oh, but it takes a long time. So, I mean, I do kind of uh, <clears throat> agree, though. You don't... You got you to, like, really test the game and have it going. But to have a bunch of ports in the beginning, now they're coming out. Now they have games. <coughs> At the time, it was a different thing, though. At the time, it was a different thing. But when you're coming out with a console, that's the thing, though. You can have two games on a console, really, and, and still be crazy successful because uh, look at, like, Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. When Breath of the Wild came out, you can play that for years, honestly, because it has that much content. Ports are coming to good ones. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, there's a... Uh, well, there's there's a remaster of the uh, what is that? The Nintendo, the Mario RPG. So I I would play that one. It looks really pretty. I should just play the old school one too, though. But <clears throat> they stated that Tears of the Kingdom was finished one year before releasing, but they refused to release until building mechanics and gravity balance was nothing but perfect. Yeah, because they they test the shit out of their games, man. So, yeah, there's going to be glitches and there's going to be exploits in the game. But, I mean, I think any game it can it, you can find exploits in. You play it enough, every little nook and cranny, you know. That's the crazy thing about some of these games is that they're so complex that you can do every movement in Super Mario 64, which there's a lot of movement. That I'm watching the Mario 64 kind of gameplay right now uh, off screen over here. But, um, but uh, what's it called? What was my point here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these complex movements you can do, but people still find new ways to move, like bomb jumping in uh, Breath of the Wild. You can just put a bomb down and it launches you across the damn map. <clears throat> Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon from DS. Yeah, hell yeah. Dude, I'm going to I'm gonna stream that shit. Okay, I'm making a list of games right now. So I think my first game... It's going to be that Metroid Prime remaster. Because for one thing, that's cheaper right now, too. It's $30 cheaper to get that sucker. I believe uh, new players will have fun creating all kinds of man-made horrors behind comprehension. Yeah, I haven't really been watching too many videos, though. I don't want to get any kind of spoilers for even the mechanics of the game. I kind of want to just figure it out. And then, you know, I want to play it for a few days without any kind of tutorials or any, anything with, uh, of that nature. But then I want to get full on full blown into tutorials after that to do crazy shit in the game. So play with the mechanics, see what I can do, but then see what other <clears throat> people have done with that shit. So yes, I believe new. Okay. I read that there. First party games have to be good. They can't be half ass. No, though they have a different standard though. They always had, uh, I think even when they're selling like trading cards and stuff back in the day, they just have like this really strict. It's like it's like Japanese with you know when they're drawing manga or 
uh, the Japanese are just really disciplined that way with their media. Because, like, uh, they'll, they'll be sitting there just really meticulously drawing every line, like, really detailed and crazy. <clears throat> I mean, I want to get, like, a stream schedule going if I can. That would be awesome if I could just be on the same time all the time, you know, at least, like, once a week. Okay, Alan, it's good to see you, man. So this was this was really just a test. So the test was successful, man. Three three people, three of the best, you know, coming in here, just showing their face. So we're gonna do the the Metroid remaster. So I'm writing this down on my phone, <clears throat> and then we'll do Tears of the Kingdom. <coughs> Excuse me, man. Uh. And what was the third one? I had a third one in my head just now. Jesus Christ. Cheese and rice. But hey, as far as this thing ran smoothly with the frame rate and everything, I feel like that's a that's a win right there. It's a win-win. As long as I came in clear, man. You know what I'm saying? Do a do do do. What was the third game, man? <clears throat> oh, I want to do uh, I want to do Link's Awakening though, like the original, and then later on, Chris, I can do the one that uh, the remake that you got me though. But I think I could run through the original on the Game Boy, maybe in like a stream or two. <clears throat> Unless I just played it for, I mean, I'd probably sit there and. I'd, I'd only do like a, an hour at a time. Make it more digestible. Especially for somebody that's trying to watch a uh, stream. Oh, but, but, but these things just kind of flutter the little heart emojis and stuff. And then, and then they kind of like, cause you, you guys can see that live, right? Like all these little bouncy boodles. So I can just be like, love, 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 love. Blah, 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 blah. I'd like to know if they see that in the chat replay, though. That's something I'm really going to have to look at. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I can see it floating up now. I was doing it, like, a ton before, but... Yeah, I love that shit. I want to... So, can you put your own custom emojis there, too? So, you know, if I say I want, like, a poop emoji just floating up and shit, you know? I'd be like, poop, 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 poop. Poop, 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 shit, 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 shit. Shit. A shit emoji. I see turds flying up into the sky. And they'll rain back down. Because it's always raining shit. Fuck, man. Probably a better angle. It's like, hi, Vsauce. You probably know that never saw that Vsauce show, right? It's just a dude in the camera right now. No, uh, no expensive equipment. Drew Carey glasses and shit. <laughs> the lights went out because we couldn't pay him. Just kidding. That's my girlfriend's computer. Talking about. I can put these on the little man's right here. Thin Drew sucks. Yeah. These are her son's glasses right here. And you got these are her glasses right here, too. So stack them up, dude. Stack them up, Chris. I'm about to stack them up, Chris. That's what I was born to do. One and two. Stack of glasses. All new at nine. Only on Fox. Stack of glasses. America, fuck yeah. Just kissing my ass and licking my balls. America, fuck yeah. Tell you, Jesse Raphael. 
I thought she had a freaking, like, man. Like, shaggy, man. Like, Scoob, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, dude. America, fuck yeah. Just kissing my ass and sucking my balls. America, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Do some glasses cleaning ASMR. Gently rub it with your cloth. Might need a little bit of a little jelly on that belly. You know what I'm saying? Billy boy, I call to you. Clean them up. Shine them up. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're cleaning glasses today. So check it out. Leave a like. Subscribe. Do all that shit, man. Fuck you doing, man? Subscribe to this shit. Fucking asshole. What are you, some kind of fucking dickhead? I'm just kidding. I love you. You just no, don't 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 unsubscribe. I, I saw you do that. I wasn't looking, but I saw you. My third eye was looking. Okay. What you got cooking? Hope you got something cooking up fucking for me. Yeah. Dude, where's my guitar riff at, man? You're supposed to get my fucking guitar riff. Hey, you're good looking. What you got cooking? Hope you got something fucking cooking up for me. Yeah. Did Eric Andre have a show with Johnny Knoxville? Yeah, it's a prank. It's called Prank. Uh, I always forget the fucking name of it, shit, man. Prank something. Uh, yeah, I'll have to look it up. Jamie, can you look that up? Jamie, can you look that up? I said, Jamie, can you look that up? You'll find it before me, watch. I bet you're looking for it right now, right? Hmm? Eric Andre, prank... Let me see if I can get it before you. Prank panel. Come on, show up in the chat real quick. Are you looking for it? Hmm? Weren't you? I thought it was immediately going to pop up in the chat, but I guess not. Fucking around with a pencil. Dave Letterman style. I think he threw, he, like, uh, what was that parody that, that Dave Letterman threw a pencil and... It hit, uh, what's his name in the eye, man? Come on, you know the guy's name. You always know people's names. Dude with the glasses, bald head, band leader, David Letterman. Norm MacDonald. I just said that name randomly. Like, You know what I'm talking about. The David Letterman show. Paul, is it Paul something? Are we, are we really, I, th I think I need to put on the low latency. Hearts, 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 hearts. Paul Schaefer. Paul Schaefer, but you know Paul Schaefer was good friends with uh, Martin Short and Gilda Radner and all them, and they all lived together and shit back in the day, and they had like this whole fucking like actor like radical fucking lifestyle and shit. I couldn't I couldn't believe Paul Schaefer was part of that shit though, but I mean, we don't fucking know what happened before you know we see these people on TV and shit. They could all have been fucking hanging out in the behind the scenes like. Oh, I, I was on the set of uh, fucking Shutter Island. You know, I, I was one of the extras, but you didn't see me. I had a, a shawl on the whole fucking time. Is, it, is that what you call it, a shawl? Would you call it a shawl or something? Or I was covered up by some. I was wearing a bonnet at the time, so yeah, you, you wouldn't have noticed me. I was turned over this way with my uh, my bonnet on. Put on your old gray bonnet with the blue ribbons on it. On the Bugs Bunny cartoon, he's like, put on your old gray bonnet with the blue. So I don't know what the rest of the, the song was, though. 
It was a, it was a dog character or something that, that did that. Bugs Bunny was trying to run away from the dude. Put on your old gray bonnet with a blue. Hey, I indeed have you now, my little chum. Hey, can you say that again? You got a great radio voice. I can't do a Bugs Bunny too well. You got a great radio voice, motherfucker. I'll beat your ass. This is Bugs Bunny here. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn or whatever, you know? Ain't I a stinker, motherfucker? Put on your old gray bonnet with the blue. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, man. This is so fucking rock and roll, man. Like, if I really had fans, like millions of them, it wouldn't matter. Like, the quality looks like shit. The quality can look like shit, but, like, what you say is, like, more, uh, you know, qualitative. Is that a word? <laughs> it's a more value to people, you know what I'm saying? Your words. My word is my bond, you know? So... That's what I'm fucking saying. Looks like the chat is dead, man. This fucking stream is dead, man. I'm fucking dead, man. Mm. Nah. I'm, I'm, this is this is a test. This is only a test. So we're seeing if we can get back into the vibe of things, you know. You know, if we give a shit, if we give a shit to give a shit, man. Does anybody have a shit to give? Am I even still live right now? Life's been kind of a blur these days, man. Yeah, I did read an article that uh, that Eric Andre did uh, quit the show of Prank Panel. And by the way, that's that's a really fucking good show, man. If I, I would binge the whole fucking thing if they had all the episodes on there right now. But we were watching one that uh, it was kind of crazy because they did a reverse prank. They did the lady was trying to um, get her scare her son because he was afraid of clowns. So they were gonna have a clown jump in there and, and act all crazy, but then. The son, I don't want to spoil it for you if you're going to watch it, though. So, I mean, or if you, did you watch it yet? Because, I mean, the show is pretty good. I mean, I would I would actually have those guys more involved with the pranks, though. I would like to see that shit to where they're actors and not just in the van like fucking Ashton Kutcher on Punk, where he's like, oh, you know, uh, I guess he gets other actors and stuff that are, aren't known. So I guess that's the, the good thing about it. But uh, Eric Andre, I think he's... He's pretty well known. You, do you think he's well known enough to where he he can't go prank people like that anymore? Because he's been doing that shit in New York for a long time with the Eric Andre show. I watched every goddamn episode of that. I think season six is going to come out uh, this year of Eric Andre. So, I mean, I'm a fan, dude. I might have to just lean into, like, the weird when it comes to streaming now, man. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to do anymore. Because I feel like I need a new, a new, uh, a new avenue to go down, a new, uh, a new gimmick. He can if he does a uh, an ABC show. He can if he does an ABC show. What do you mean if he he can't do an Adult Swim show? Or he can't, uh, he can't do. Be part of the pranks. If that, is that what you mean? Do 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 do. And this is a is a weekday too, so a lot of people wouldn't be here. That I guess would usually be here on a weekend, of course. And people probably don't even know, man. They're sleeping. They didn't, they didn't get a notification. Who gets YouTube notifications anymore when the New stuff drops. I don't think I even get that shit anymore. Do you? So what do you got to do? Like, we got to be part of social media. I don't even know if... I don't think people even uh, go to the Discord anymore. So, prank shows on ABC. 
which has more than Adult Swim. What do you mean it has more? It has more what? It has more shows? What do you mean it has more what though? Oh, viewers. Okay. So you're saying it's a conflict of interest if he does if he keeps doing his show on uh, Adult Swim? Is that is that something that, that I missed? Like a stipulation in his contract or something? Because I mean okay. There's a mis miscommunication here. Mis oh, you're an artor. Do 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 now. Day 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 day. Hey, I want to see if I can get uh, OBS working on here, man. Are you going to bed? You have the uh, that, that doctor's appointment tomorrow, right? Because if you're going to be awake for a little bit anyway, we can go on Discord try to figure something out. Is, uh, the stream is still in the planning stages right now. This is still just the rough behind the scenes shit right now. Do -boo -boo -do -boo. The only thing stopping me from keeping my computer out here in the living room is the fact that I don't have a stand for it. But if I get a stand for that shit, then gonna be on like Donkey Kong and also I wanted to use a different camera there's an iPhone that I can use so I'll use that as a camera then be better better quality man <laughs> use some better quality baby yeah then like we can up the ante a little bit dude I need to I need to start doing some different effects and stuff. I'm curious about this too, like if I can do some like travel streams with this uh, Chromebook. Probably like you know just hook up the iPhone to it, but I think it would have to have a USB hub too. It only has one freaking USB port on it. There's limitations to it, but. I'm curious too. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab my freaking microphone from over. I want to see if I can get the audio quality even better though. If you're doing pranks on ABC himself, honestly, oh. Let's see, does that change anything here? I don't even know if this microphone is connected to. Da -da 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 -da. Connect the devices. Uh, audio. So 
Who is that? Is that the one that's uh 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 yeah 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 boy yeah no 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 where's the microphone at hello hello i don't even know if that is the one that's going does the audio sound different no right hmm I just kind of plug this thing in this uh this mic right here. I've had this thing for a while, but I just never I haven't streamed yet, so I'm just curious like what a mobile setup would be if I stream. Hmm. Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Do 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 do. Microphone, microphone. That's a thing too. Like, can you still hear me, bro? Testing one, two, three. I don't know if I just ruined the audio. Talking into the microphone at all? <laughs> you can't hear the, the scratches and things. What the hell is that reflection? Reflection on my phone. I was like, what the fuck is that moving around? <sighs> Testing one, two, three. Am I talking into the microphone notes? Can you hear me louder now? I don't know what I'm talking into. Uh, I don't know what I'm... I don't know. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, the gain. Hello. Hello. Does that make a difference? Hello. I don't know what the hell you hear right now. I've just been flying on the seat of my pants. This has to be working, right? Is that what is that? What does that sound like? I muted it. Okay, but you can hear me now, though, right? So when it's muted, I guess the light is flashing. Uh, that's probably a duh, right? Uh, can you hear me better now with this microphone than when uh, I was speaking before with just the the laptop mic? Does it sound different? Like when I get closer to the mic, does it sound louder? Am I just, was I destroying your ear before because I was just talking into it like a crazy person? Just tell me all that, man, in a bag of potato chips. How does it sound now? Does it sound better quality? Worse quality? This is better. This is CNN. Does it sound more professional? Like, like if I would have had that sound before, you think the viewers would have stuck around? <laughs> Talking about good quality stuff. And I know life's been really rough, but if we get together, we can find an answer. Are you a man, sir? Do 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 Ooh. 
Hey, is that too loud though, bro? Like, uh, am I being? I guess that was a test too, right? <laughs> Me making up a silly little song. A silly little song for me and you. We'll work all day long for me and you. All the melodies you sing. <laughs> and how your freedom rings. Yeah. And all those little things you do. Big it feel the blues. Family ties esque. Oh, what the song that I was singing? I really don't know. I'm, I'm just, you know, I, I had some some ganja brownies, you know, and uh, that's probably against some people's religion, but it's, for me, it's medication, man. It helps me cope with anxieties that I didn't even know I had. I was getting close to copyright there because that's that's from uh that's Hercules. Every time we're in Brazil, when the dawn and be for you and I go my heart, I can go to them. I'm gonna say the words, you know, copyright infringe me. But I can go to dear I don't know the, the rest of that shit. That's I think that's Michael Bolton that sings that shit, man. Hercules, Hercules. Uh, I think Hercules was the end of the Disney Renaissance. <laughs> At the tail end of the Disney Renaissance. Cause it's good, but yeah, you know what? It is fuck it's fucking good, man. It's good. That's that art style that it has was pretty fucking sick. But that's the type of shit that I talk about, you know? Old school Disney movies and shit. <laughs> I'm getting one of those mwahaha mustaches going, dude. This is Beauty Tips with Frank. Curl your mustache once a day. Maybe twice. Can't get that same curl on the other side, man. That pisses me off, dude. Pisses me right off. <laughs> you know what I should do is like play. I'll, I'll just be playing the video, the game, and then have that um the video of me just shaving and like mowing the lawn and shit. I'll have that playing in the corner. Remember how I had those gifts and stuff before over in the corner? Just like a little cube of gifts, just playing the whole fucking time for all the people who were. Uh, I was trying to make that stream like accessible for people with ADD. Like, oh, they get there. It's like, what all? Is, what is all this shit playing? We got gifts going on. You got little animations and shit. Like, what the fuck? Give people a ton of shit to look at. How, how does it sound, man? Do I sound bad? Is it like, do I sound too loud? Do I sound? How do I sound? How do I sound? You probably just have this on in the background right now. So I'm just trying to be background noise for. Somebody that way I can let out my words and you guys can let out your angst and anxiety by listening to a, a grown man just mumble about bullshit in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, I go walking in my sleep. Who the desert of the truth and the river so deep. We go swim in the ocean. We go on a walk in the earth. We're through the valley of love. <laughs> Fucking love that part, man. In the middle of the, I go walking in the, in the middle of the, I go walking in the, in the middle of the, I go walking in the, in the middle of the. Oh, well, I fucking, you know, shit like that, man. So we need more of in this world. Oh, you get a whole different perspective over here, don't you? Go, 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 go. <laughs> you got honey in your voice tonight, Raul. <laughs> when the truth is found to be laid, when all the joy in you dies. That's like the uh, the gator from fucking All Dogs Go to Heaven and shit. 
Let's make music together. Let's make sweet harmony. Oh, let's make music together, baby. Fucking love that motherfucker, man. With two birds of a feather. And he also makes it sound like he's underwater, so he does a little with two birds of a feather. Like, like it, the way he trembles, I don't know if that was an effect they added later. Did like a little tremble, like he's speaking underwater and shit. Shit's amazing. Let's make sweet harmony. Oh, let's make music together, honey. Let's make music together. But uh, the boys are gonna do a freaking recital this Friday. They're, they're practicing. Uh, they, they started playing music together, one of Beethoven's symphonies and shit. So I'm like, you guys are going to... I'll record that shit. You know what? I'll, I'll fucking... I'll upload that. We do like little mini vlogs here, man. So it's just a Friday night recital. So I got to clean off that fucking iPhone. You know, the boy's still punished. I have his iPhone, so... We'll use that thing to record videos and shit, man. Do something constructive with that shit. Let's make music together. Let's make sweet harmony. Let's make music together, baby. I want to be on a girl. Uh, you got a feral today. Let's make da -da 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 -da. Heart, heart. Heart, 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 heart. Love, 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 love in the chat, love in the chat, love in the chat, love in the chat. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Party time, party time, party time, party time. I'm surprised, I'm surprised, I'm surprised, I'm surprised. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Love in the chat, love in the chat, love in the chat, love in the chat. Ah. I don't know where this stuff comes from, dude. You think it's like from the outreaches of the universe that I'm grabbing all this shit down and bringing it to a live stream? <laughs> you think it's the hand of some being in the distant universe? Just making me uh, come up here and... Living in the land of the lost. Mm. So I don't know if I can add something to, to this, though. Pop out dashboard. What is the dashboard, though? I need to look more into this. If they're, you know, the mobile version of uh, live streaming with this shit. Because this is just the YouTube app. And I guess it works just fine if it's showing up like this. But that's all it is, just fine. At least I made the audio better, though, right? Like, that's that's a little bit more tolerable than before. I don't know how it sounded before, but I was just flying. I was just I was just, just trudging through the mud, man, like full speed, not even slowing down. Didn't even know how to slow down, man. But if this is a league better than, like, you know, how does this sound? Do we sound like we're on some kind of midnight radio show? Waiting for people to find love. How do I add things to this? Is there a way to add things to this, man? Can you just add your friends in here somehow? Like with just the app? I mean, that would be amazing. Webcam. You don't have access to this. Manage. Can't manage it. Pop out dashboard. Oop. Lost my lighting situation here. And we'll go. We're back. We're back, folks. We're back. I don't understand this whole pop out dashboard shit, though. It don't make sense, man. You have to learn as we go here, dude. But now we got we got to know our limitations. But apparently OBS works. There's a, You have to do some real backwards ass shit. You got to have uh, Linux, uh, like, background running in, in your fucking, on your Chromebook and all this shit, and 
it's no way to live, but I'm going to make this shit work, though. So, I mean, it's, it's supposed to be good quality, right? I mean, it's a Samsung. I like the thing. I like the thing, man. When I put the when I put the microphone down like this, does it make a difference? Does it do I have to just speak at, at this level and everything sounds fine? Like some kind of two o'clock is well, now it's almost a four AM broadcast. Good. Yeah, I know, but I mean, does that make a difference? Or I'm sorry, I mean I you know. I know I'm asking a lot of you here, but you know what? When I when I do the next one, I won't have to ask as much, right? But when it's when it's live, man, you got to do that shit just to make sure that. Like, would it offend somebody that came in? Is it that loud? Is it too loud? Is this a good level for me to speak at this distance from the microphone? I ask of you, my buddy. If you could kindly tell me, I'd be a happy guy. I'm a happy dude over here, you know what I mean? So, it's cool. Four o'clock live stream. I have to pee in a urinal. <laughs> what? Okay, well, that, well, that, that, you went another way on what I asked you, but that's fucking. What the fuck? You have to pee. What do you mean you have to pee on a urinal? Do you have a urinal at the house now? <laughs> ah, shit. You're full of piss and vinegar, boy. What the hell? I say you're full of piss and vinegar. Uh, reset cookies, site settings. Nah, I don't know what. No. All right, so. I think I'm just going to have to get OBS working out. Well, you know what? I mean, I have my other PC, so. But I'm just curious uh, about what this thing's capable of, though. Be easier to move around. Dang, if I just got a cheap capture card for this shit, maybe. I wonder if it would it would be good enough to just do some minimal shit though. If I'm tethered, I piss in a bottle. Oh, okay. A urinal. You said a urinal though, so I thought you had like a little urinal going on there. You're a genie in a bottle, baby. Yeah, so I think uh, you have both. What, what do you mean you have both what? Oh, the urinal and... Do you have a urinal in your room? Like, you mean... You're at home right now, right? I thought you said you came home. Okay, so... Yes, yes, you have one in the in the house or your home. Okay, but you have a urinal at your house is what you're saying. Cuz I would actually that would actually be really good. <clears throat> that would honestly be good for me cuz uh you know, like say you know, when I get a house, we can just have a, a bathroom big enough where there's just a freaking pisser over in the corner. If I have to just take a piss while, while she's sitting down, that's functional. It's plastic from Walgreens. A little, a little, you got a little tiny, like portable urinal. It's pretty interesting. Portable. I didn't mean to say portable. Portable. Behind the portables. There was a girl that uh, did some naughty stuff at the school uh, behind, under the portable. You know what the portable is, right? <laughs> they got those portable like uh, little classrooms. That's crazy. You don't think about that as a kid. Like the, they just they can move those things around. Portable. 
I was like, oh, where are you at? Where are you going to uh, class this morning? Out in the portables. I used to like those portable ones, though, man. They, they had some character to this shit. Like, you're going out to this little damn house and shit. Yeah, man, that was, that was a little adventure for me as a kid, but I just... I hated the idea of being social, though, man. It was gross. It was just a gross concept. Like, why? I love it and I hate it, though. We had those. Now they don't. We had those. We're going to have to find it. We're going to, uh, on the next one, we're going to be talking together, like, uh, on the stream. I know it's late now for you, but. But also, like, I just want to be playing something, though. I'm going to have to get my fucking Nintendo online. That's It's $50 for the year if you want the DLC shit, though. So I guess if you want, the, like, the Nintendo collection, which, I mean, 50 bucks a year, that's not bad. But we, we just have other shit to pay for right now, so. That shit will be, that, that, it'll be coming, man. But there's so much, like, Nintendo is, is doing some good shit, though. Tears of the Kingdom, I want that Metroid Prime. I can't really think of anything that I'm excited for as far as the PlayStation goes. I mean, maybe that uh, Spider-Man 2. If I were to get a PS5, I'd probably get the Spider-Man 2 on there. But also, like, they need to do fucking GTA 6 uh, in VR already, man. That's That's what we're missing. We're missing, like, a killer app where you can just explore, drive cars and shit. Like, I mean... I wonder if there's something out there that I'm, I'm missing that, you know, in VR that gives you that, that scratches that that itch. PS5 has no games. I wouldn't say it has no games, but it has the Spider-Mans, which, you know, if you, you play it on there, Sony is all about new tech and new, new, like, they're pushing things further. So their haptic feedback with the, you know, with the controllers. So Spider-Man... Spider-Man, Miles Morales, uh, God of War. Those three games right there keep you busy for a long-ass time, honestly, because, I mean, with Spider-Man, there's so much to do. With God of War, I mean, that one, it, it's pretty damn sick, so it, it, it'll give you, like, 60 hours of gameplay, so. I mean, just those three games right there keep you busy for a while until they get some more shit going on, but PlayStation VR, I think, is what they're really pushing right now. Which is a which is awesome move, man. Fucking awesome move. So like, but you need a killer app that people are gonna. I mean, for me, Resident Evil, but that's still a niche a niche audience. Even though it's a big ass fucking audience, it's more of a niche like horror games. A lot of people don't want to do that shit. But something as mainstream as GTA, if that shit goes into VR, it's over, man. VR is what the fuck. The dog started crying and shit. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> it was one of the kids rolled over on him because he had uh, her son had his uh, arm around the dog. So he must have rolled on him and, and maybe put pressure on him. And when he cried, like he just still laid there, though. <laughs> he just wants to lay like he, he's a freaking. You know, like a wolf in a in a pack just hanging out and they just sleep together all on top of each other and shit. He wants to do that. He likes doing that. And we we saw this fucking what do they call them? The God damn it. You know, the dogs that are wolves, what is it, huskies? Uh this really fucking crazy white husky with blue eyes and shit. And shit was amazing looking though. But those those dogs are fucking scary too though. I mean it's it's probably you know any dog could fucking do that, but I would think more that 
you know, the fucking that one that's a wolf, like it would go towards its instincts one day, and it's like when you're weak as fuck, it would take your ass out, you know. <laughs> so there's there's all the, that shit about being the alpha dog, you know. Uh, the kids, like, they get down to his level. He'll fucking bite him in the face because you get down to his level. He, you know, you're smaller than him than than him now. So he's like, oh, I'm gonna fucking bully your ass because that's that's the way the food chain works. He's scared of me, so he won't fuck with me, but. You know, the kids get down to that level. It's like, oh, you're my equal now. I'm going to fuck your ass up. And so he tries to fucking dominate everything. But, now, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm training him to get the fuck out of that shit, though. Can you even hear me? Do you even hear me? That's the thing about not getting a... a I don't know. I don't know. Well, it seems like sometimes you answer really fat, but maybe you know, maybe you're just uh, you know kind of just chilling and listening in right now, right? Michael Vick dog training video. <laughs> what the fuck? It's kind of random. The fuck does that have to do? Are you talking about like they they want to dominate each other? These fucking dogs and and go really with their instincts and fucking kill each other. As horrible as it sounds, I mean, I could really go for watching one of those fights right now. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's a shame that they, you know, the, I mean, you could watch it in a movie, but holy fuck, like, just to see, just to see, you know, a life get fucking lost is, is crazy, but I know that sounds horrible, man. That sounds horrible as fuck. Uh, I used to, you know, be with a fucking a girl that like what liked watching like murder videos and shit. So, yeah, she would eat dinner and just watch people get de decapitated and shit. So, I know I've told you that before, but it's kind of crazy to think about, man. Some people are out there just watching that shit, probably on a daily basis, just you know. Most likely alone in their apartment, just chilling out, just watching that shit, eating fucking chicken Alfredo and shit, you know? I was watching Armed and Dangerous, John Candy bit the dog. <laughs> fucking John Candy is the shit, dude. These are, these are like the glasses he was wearing when uh, he was the security, car, security, security guard at uh, Wally World, right? Yeah, these are, these are similar to that shit. Yeah, now when I'm on the stream, I need I need to bring my fucking beard brush, man. I could brush that shit out on the stream. It's looking like the beard equivalent of bedhead, though. Coked up Chevy J. <laughs> Chevy Chase. Yeah. Uh, they, they had some fucking, you know, they had some movies back in the day, man. They had some fucking movies, man. That, that you can't, you can't, you can't dupl duplicate their fucking charm, though. Like, you know, Chevy was a dickhead, and he he was this. He had the same charm like Bill Murray did. He was a fucking asshole. So <laughs> they were both fucking assholes. So they had asshole charm. John Candy had that like fucking lovable. He was the dude that lived in your neighborhood type of fucking guy. Better then than now. Yeah, but we need we need just a resurgence, man. We need people that are gonna start getting influenced. There's gonna be another wave of movies. I, I'm telling you right now, this this whole fucking bullshit, this all all this stuff right now has to happen. It's just, you know, in a history, like in human history, every fucking single thing has to happen, right? There's every every certain different scenario. So this is like what's possible when shit really hits the fan and everything goes wacky. And now we have documentation of that. All these Disney movies being remade and shit, and they're just making them as horrible as possible. There's got to be somebody right now who's the next Disney, though. Like, maybe Disney's over. You know, the vision's not there anymore. Uh, you know, Walt's dead. Roy fucking, I don't know if he's dead, but he's old as fuck now probably, and he's probably gone, right? Anybody that gave a fuck back then about that magic? I was just watching a special. It was a... Uh, Damn, what were they celebrating? Fuck, dude. Betty White and fucking B. Arthur were on that shit, the Golden Girls. 
And, you know, they had this little, that's, that's where America was at the time. The, the, you know, the most famous fucking show on TV was about old women and shit. And <laughs> old women just, you know, hanging out. And one, one was a dirty one, was a dumb one. One was a tall chick that had an ex-husband and the other one was her fucking mom. It's what the fuck, man. What a time. But it was a celebration that had like the monkeys. Dude, it was, what is it, 1984, 86? What, what was that one? It was early 80s. But they're losing Mickey Mouse. Oh, the, the rights to him because you, you have like 75, is it 70 years of copyright? And if you don't renew it, then can you imagine, dude? I wonder if uh, tons of people are just going to do shit with Mickey Mouse after that. And <laughs> How the fuck are you going to lose? You can't lose your iconic character. They, if they're spending money, $300 million, uh, on these shit movies like a pop so that's that's over a billion dollars that they spent uh in a year on five four or five shitty movies right over a billion dollars he's got indiana jones and the uh they say the the diaper of destiny or the depends of destiny or the dial of dysentery it's actually called the dial of destiny but <laughs> they own the uh, trademark to him oh okay so there goes my lights again. I gotta wake their their computer her computer up. Also, I get the blue light for a second too. Oh shit! Her computer's restarting now. I'm not gonna have that light anymore. What the fuck? What the fuck? I do have a USB one to plug in, but I only have one USB port on this shit. Fuck, dude. Well, the lighting's gonna change now. You think any viewers are gonna watch this shit with some? Fucking neck bearded dude with glasses on, just kind of fucking hanging out in the dark. In the fucking dark, dude. What the fuck? But it becomes public domain. Yeah. Well, that means you could do whatever the fuck. So imagine, like, people start making fucking all these, like, I would like to see every fucking director go in there and make a, a Mickey movie. You know, just because they could. You're not really fucking desecrating anything. As, it, even as much as they've been doing already themselves, you know? They've been fucking destroying their fucking brand, so. Well, you can say what you want about, like, you know, what Walt believed in if he was a fucking Nazi or who, who the fuck knows, but he made some quality shit, though. People say Disney was evil since the fucking jump, but like they they did put out some fucking amazing shit. They can go back to the Fox and the Hound. Look at that shit. You were just talking about that earlier. Like that's what Chico looks like. Did I see the OG Mickey? What do you mean OG? Which one? Are you saying like Steamboat Willie or are you saying the OG, the original gangster Mickey? Mm -hmm. I could do this right here, bro. Get this interesting lighting going for my phone and shit. You know? It's fucking that's kind of spooky though, right? <laughs> Look at this shit going on, yo. Look at that shit, man. That shit's good enough, right? Cartoon where he's in a factory. Hmm. One of my favorite ones is when they're in the trailer in the back. Uh, they're building the boat. They're delivering the fridge. The delivering in the fridge one was my the fucking my favorite one of all time though. Like they have the delivery like a, a moving service and shit. But the one making cheese with his dick. What are you saying? Who was making cheese with his dick? What? The cartoon where he's in a factory making cheese with his dick. No. I remember the one where he went through with the looking glass with the cheese with the dick. Mm. <laughs> it, it slips my mind right now. No, I don't know. Mickey was making cheese with his dick. I don't know, man. Is that a lost episode? I mean, is that one of those episodes that got banned and shit? I should have just been using this lighting the whole fucking time, dude. Fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, man. This looks fucking ominous as fuck. You know what I can do? 
I can take a tissue and put it over that shit and like diffuse the light a little bit. Shit, girl. Talking about some lighting, bitch. Talking about some lighting, bitch. We did it. Talking about some lighting, bitch. Talking about some lighting, bitch. We did it. Uh, 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 uh. The stream is starting to devolve now. You gotta find it. The cartoon where he's in the factory. I, I probably saw it, but I have no I don't remember specifically that one though. I watched a lot of Mickey growing up, man. But only when we had the Disney Channel preview. I wouldn't watch as much as I could. I mean, I I don't know if I've seen every Mickey cartoon. That's 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 something I would I would like to do though. If I miss some. I know that there was this short back in the day that came out um, on one of the movies. Damn, it was called Runaway Brain. And the way they fucking animated that, I would love to see a whole fucking movie made like that of Mickey because that lit me up when I saw that, dude. I thought that was a whole movie. I want to even say that, I don't I don't know, maybe I was this dumb of a kid. I want to say that I went to go see that and I thought that was the whole movie. And then there was a whole movie after that shit, and it was a short, and I was like, are you serious? Like, I don't know if I was so fucking enchanted by that shit that I thought it was the fucking movie I was going to see. But when it was so short, I was like, what the fuck is this? I don't even know what the movie was that it was involved with. You know, in Roger Rabbit, where he's like, oh, a goofy cartoon. And then uh, it's like, after the goofy cartoon, oh, it's just another newsreel. Yeah, man, like that. When that 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 was a short before a movie, like Pixar does that sometimes. Well, they did. I don't know if they still do. They probably still do. I don't. I don't know what the hell the new short would be. They have all the shorts on uh, on Disney Plus. That that right there would give Disney Plus value to me right now because I would go to all those fucking shorts because people put the the shorts that they make. Are, are more artistic than the fucking movie sometimes because they're they're like some one person's little thought little you know idea that they wanted to make and they fucking just make it real quick. And they don't have to wait for the whole studio to be on board with it. They can probably take like four or five people and make that shit. Who the fuck knows? Then it's a more personal fucking project than all this corporate horse shit. Like look at uh look at Elemental where. You know, it's an allegory for like discrimination and racism and shit. Yeah, it's like fire against water and against, you know, so they can't just be separate. They have to be, you know, racist about it and, and you know, it has to be bigotry and shit. I guess if that's, you know, how you want to lean, <laughs> you know, going with the, the whole diversity thing, which is great, you know, diversity is great, but you don't have to like, it doesn't have to be your main label Kathleen Kennedy killed Star Wars she killed everything really but oh that's another thing I wanted to do is write stories with this fucking chat GPT shit man that I think that would be one of the fucking first ones I do I forgot about that shit dude because I, I have a better idea for the Little Mermaid an awesome black Little Mermaid like original character though I would love for somebody to fucking animate that shit. Maybe I can really uh, advocate for that shit to happen where a team gets together and makes this fucking shit that I came up with, you know? That would be fucking sick. Like, hire a bunch of people on Fiverr to make different parts of it and shit. And maybe your best part is the one that, you know, somebody animated that was really fucking good at it, but maybe I got a cheap deal because I only spent fucking $40 on, like, 30 seconds with this guy. If I can at least make a fucking fake trailer, that'd be sick, though. I want to go over it with the uh, chat GPT, which is like this fucking crazy AI that will help you write code and help you write uh, fucking symphonies if you want, probably. I don't know. But you can write definitely write stories and shit with it, though. And it should help me write some stories that I can... Fuck, I, I can do some streams where I just read those stories and, and play music in the background. That, that shit will be... A decent little go to sleep stream. Some of those stories are fucking amazing, though. Remake of Back to the Future in the Multiverse? No. 
They shouldn't touch Back to the Future at all, man. They can't touch Back to the Future. It's a big mistake. But if it's gonna exist, fuck it, man. You know, like people are gonna people are gonna do whatever the fuck they want, no matter what. Because if you know that's that's what people want is nostalgic stuff, no matter how they get it. If it's bad, they'll fucking okay. Well, I love Ghostbusters. I'm a hardcore Ghostbusters fan. You can fuck it up if you want to, but I'm still gonna watch it. I'm gonna be there day one with my fucking full Ghostbusters garb on. You know, my whole costume and shit. No one wants it. That's true. Nobody wants it. Oh, nobody wanted a lot of movies, but they're they're happening though. Unfortunately, you can't stop the shit, man. I would love to, but I'd rather waste my time doing other shit that you know, and just not watch this movie. Or who who knows if it has if it's done right. If it's done right, it could be an homage. You know, it could be like you you can actually fucking have Doc in there, and he's if they pass the torch on to somebody else. That deserves it, though. You know, somebody who actually is a fucking good actor. Like, we don't know. We, we don't know. Give me Melissa McCarthy Ghostbusters sequel. <laughs> no, man, but we don't know what the future can hold for Back to the Future. If somebody gets uh, their hands on it, that's the new Robert Zemeckis. You know, like, fuck, man. It could be the, the new resurgence of actual good fucking sequels, though. And I would say it's just a fucking, you know, another one in the franchise. It doesn't even have to be, you know, it should be a direct sequel, I guess. But pass the torch. You know, before they die, have uh, Michael J. Fox, Leah Thompson, all those people. If they're old as fuck, have them be old as fuck in the movie. Have him have it be that Marty got Parkinson's disease and like have it be that everybody is just fucking there and they're present, but you can focus on a new, you know, new characters and shit. You know, have have art imitate life. You know, like uh, art imitate life. That doesn't fucking apply here. Have have like history repeat itself <laughs> to where uh, you know, Marty's you know kids kids. You know, you can you can fucking digitally do fucking all types of shit these days with AI. You know, uh, when Michael J. Fox, he's he's uh, the way he is, and you know that's how he became, and that's. Maybe he got in the accident with the uh, with that Rolls Royce, and that that triggered everything. Who knows, man? Make it an alternate, you know. But just make it fucking awesome, though. Yeah, but it, but I'm saying if they did Back to the Future, you know, at least have even if it's bad, at least have uh, fucking them play those characters one more time before they go. Like even if it's bad. I think I would take that shit right now. But it have to be by the right director. It have to be somebody that's willing to take a fucking chance, uh willing to get that fucking 80s vibe again or the 50s vibe. That's the thing, the the aesthetic back then, it was 50s and 80s. It was current time, but then they they really fucking because in the 80s there was this, this obsession with the 50s. Like people love 50s horror movies and 50s, you know, fucking uh, you know, there's a lot of shit in the 50s that was that was making a comeback back then. All the the monsters and shit from the fifties, the uh, Frankenstein and the Dracula, which they're they're in the thirties, but I think by the fifties they really started to become really popular though. And nineteen uh, fifties fucking that's 19, oh, 1960s Batman, yeah. It's like the fifties and sixties, I guess, but still that that was you know thirty years before. Now the 80s is getting further and further fucking away, man. But I'm saying, bring back Christopher Lord, bring back Michael Keaton, do something with them, and then have fucking the guy who writes Rick and Morty write the movie and have it come full fucking circle to where he's writing the fucking movie because he is really fucking smart when he when he, he really puts it down and, 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 and writes these Rick and Morty episodes because they're inspired by real fucking structured movies though like that <clears throat> so like his episodes are really tight as far as the the story structure goes but they're just silly as fuck so it, you know placeholders in movies like okay you have the intro you're introducing the character you're introducing the idea then fucking things you know start to ramp up and people are having fun all of a sudden shit gets derailed you knock it down and you got to figure it up in the last final act 
how to get the friends back together, uh, how to fucking attach the train to the such and such so we can get to the somewhere, you know, whatever the fuck the movie's about. But if you have that structure there, like I think Dan Harmon could do, then you could fucking make a really good fucking Back to the Future that is written by somebody who is a big fan and fan enough to copy them to make fucking Rick and Morty. That'd be some badass fucking shoot. I'd line up for that shit, man. Just like I'm going to line up for uh, Quentin Tarantino's last movie, man. Because Quentin's making one more movie, and then he's going to retire and do novels after that. I want to see if that's actually going to be true, too. But his uh, final movie is going to be called The Movie Critic or The Film Critic, I think. It's one of those two, The Movie Critic or The Film Critic. I can't, I can't remember now. But that'll be that's an, that's gonna be a fucking event for me, man. Because his final movie, he's my he's my favorite director. I'm sorry, you know. I can't I can't say that he you know like he's my only. I, I want to say he's one of my favorites though. I, I honestly fucking uh, like Mel Gibson. <laughs> out of all people though. Because uh, even even though yeah he had some fucking bullshit anti-Semitic shit. He had all that shit going on, but he made some fucking like two epic ass fucking movies. Well, he directed uh, the Patriot too, I think, or no? Maybe he didn't. I don't know. I want to say he he even directed. So there was, I think, there were three movies that stand out. So you have Braveheart. Um, you have Apocalypto. We have to talk about Mel off stream. Yeah, we can. Now, I know there's some filthy things that he did, but you have to separate sometimes the art from the artist, man. I say fuck it sometimes. I know, I know he's a piece of shit. You know? Sounds like an abusive asshole, but it's crazy that, you know, these fucking dirty fucks can create some art, though. Yeah, because, I mean... They said that, like, the dude that played uh, Chris Evans, the dude that played Captain America, had some, like, crazy political views and shit. I don't give a damn, dude. I fucking... I like Captain America as a character. Like, I don't give a shit what he did off screen. That goes for all of them, you know? Like, it gives a fuck. Uh, they're there for your entertainment, honestly. <laughs> That's what they're part of your lives for. They're not. They're not your friends, so... <coughs> If they tell the story, then or get the story told, the help get the story told because they're part of the story, then fuck what they do outside of that shit. There's more to it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter, man. But you know. Oh, Steven still Steven Spielberg, man. Spielberg, dude. There's there's nobody that freaking... I, I know he's, you know, with I, I think he directed the new indie, but, you know, the Indiana Jones one, but... Damn, his work, man. The way he moves a camera around, the way that he tells a story is so different from everybody. It has this crazy magic to it. They talk about the magic of Disney, but Spielberg have, has this magic that fucking grabs you. He was part of that project, the Back to the Future project. Also, I think he was a producer on it, but he get he I think he helped get it made because of his name. But Robert Zemeckis, he had to prove himself by making a, a blockbuster. So he made Romancing the Stone, and then there he was able to to get the studio to fund the shit. So and I do have the TV going over there too. So that's probably adding to the. Color changing in the background. Yeah, I think I'm going to get that iPhone set up to have the better camera. I'm going to work on getting these wings off. Got these water wing arms, you know. Celebrate good times. Come on. I I like this interface, but I'd I'd like to add some shit to it though, man. Is there a way? 
celebrate good time. Come on. I wonder how much the control that they give you. I think this is about it. Maybe. I don't know. Celebrate good times. Has it been pretty smooth, though, in your on your side, man? Two and a half hours, man. That's 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 a that's a ways to go. And I went that ways. So it sounds good. It's going smoothly. It seems like something that's consumable almost because if I get the camera better, then everything else would be better. Is it better when I talk to you like this too? Because it feels like I'm making eye contact with you rather than looking down. Does that make does it make it feel like real personal and shit, man? Or does it seem creepy as fuck? Celebrate good times. Come on. CAF. What? The fuck you saying? CAF. Uh, let it crack my neck there, man. Dude, the brownies are good, man. The brownies are good, brother. <laughs> Celebrate. What is CAF? What did I say? I don't even know. I lost my train of thought now. <laughs> I'm over. I'm all over the goddamn place. I need. I need structure. I need discipline. Curious how the you know I want to. I guess it gives it more of that podcast creepy as fudge, but I didn't say fudge. <laughs> creepy as fuck. Oh, the eye contact. If I do like this, is it more sensual though? <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Oh, is that you and those Foster Grants? <laughs> Fuck, you know, <laughs> Mr. Gabbard, is that you and those foster grants? Hmm? <laughs> Shit. Celebrate good times. Come on. <laughs> Give me popcorners, huh? You want me to send you some fucking popcorners, dude? Yeah, they don't, I'm on vacation this week for one thing, but we went over to Fort Pierce, you know, over to the hood and got us some fucking chips and shit because they had it like $1.99 for a, a huge box. And I'm talking about like a whole case. Like, uh, so if it's a case of the original classic fucking um, Lay's chips, dude, there's 15 in that shit. So that we got 15 in the whole case. There had to be like fucking 30 something, if not more. That was like a double case for that, those fucking salt and vinegar and shit. It went to the hood for it. It was, wasn't only fucking chips, though. <laughs> they just so happened to have fucking chips uh, at the place, but it's like a low income grocery store. So, you know, since we have all the kids here now, we went over there to stock up on shit. So. They had like fucking cereal, three for a dollar ninety nine. It's all stuff that's some of it has really fucking good dates on it, but some of it is uh, close dated or, you know, it's it's, it's expired. Some of it, but you kind of sign up for that shit too. You're like, this is the cheap shit. So I mean, there's a lot of sugary cereal and shit, but they they still have like kashi and all that kind of shit, like the healthier stuff too. But that's a dollar ninety nine a box. Still fucking good. So they had meat and shit there. We had steak from there, and uh, it was like three bucks a pack and shit like that. Like I mean, you know, you're feeding a bunch of kids. You know, you have to, you got to economize and shit. You got to like, uh, just re really be thrifty and shit. So that place right there, dude, and, and also, yeah, I got him some cheap bologna, but he's he's been eating good because we. I mean, I'll explain that to you later, but, you know, he went through some issues and stuff, too, that, uh, that you know, we, we're we going easier now. 
easing up a little bit because it's been rough and we don't we don't want to make it any more rough than it has to be. So it's been rough on all of us, man. We had a rough fucking time. But we're trying to keep fucking trucking through this shit, man. So my aunt goes to this one food drive and dude, they had a fucking huge like I'm telling you, the bag was fucking this big of potatoes. Imagine, you know, a huge fucking bag of potatoes. And we have those and a whole box of fucking like sweet potatoes. There's, there has to be at least like 30, 40 fucking sweet potatoes in there. There has to be like fucking 80 to 100 goddamn uh, small little white potatoes and shit. Like, what the fuck? We're, we're going to pass this shit around, you know? So, like, uh, my kids, you know, their little sister. So, they, you know, they, he has they have a, that girl has a different father, of course. So. Uh, I'm going to call him over and be like, hey, man, we're all in this shit together. Come get some fucking potatoes, man. <laughs> yeah, you got to peel all the potatoes and the barracks and shit. Like, the barracks? Where, where the fuck is the barracks? I, I just said an army army term. That sounds like an army. <laughs> is the barracks where they sleep? What's the, uh, where, where's the place where they fucking, they, they peel the potatoes is like the, what do they call that shit? The barracks is where they sleep. Uh, so they'll be they'll be in like the supply room or some shit on some of those army movies where they make them peel the potatoes and shit. As what is that as punishment then? Usually, oh you failed at the obstacle course now you got to peel all the fucking potatoes and shit. All the taters, the kitchen or the chow hall. I could have swore they called it like the supply. I don't fucking remember. Yeah, maybe the chow hall. You gotta get all these ready for the chow hall, boy. Maybe next time you will, you'll learn how to do some push-ups. You little piece of shit. <laughs> you little piece of shit, man. I take pleasure in calling you a piece of shit, dude. Wow, feels good. Just rolls off the tongue. Damn, damn, damn give me twenty. That's the way I've been feeling it. Like, uh, well, you lost your man tits, huh? So you haven't found him yet? Tell me more about that, man. Dude, I'm just like like a 16-year-old girl on the phone right now. Like, tell me more. Like, how'd you lose him? And is there any chance of finding him again? I know you're talking about you lost weight. Like, have you been changing your diet and shit, though? So I, I'm aiming to do that, but I've just been, you know, in a weird fucking mode right now with all this shit going on. So we're throwing healthy stuff in there in the mix, but it's, you know, it's still a big fucking mix of uh, other horse shit. And I'm not proud of it, but, you know, like the soda, the chips and all that, but I'm still trying to eat like avocados and, and, and oh, yeah, chemo works to lose weight. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's a very good point. It's a fucking horribly good point. Yeah. Yeah. More eye contact. Is that creepy? How do you feel about that? Oh, shit. I felt you on that one. Were you staring into my eyes, you little shit? Huh? I felt you on that, time, on that one, man. I think you were getting close to your screen there. I don't like that. Nasty shoe. Nasty shoe. That's why I like Conan, because he's not afraid to be like, <laughs> like fucking out of fucking nowhere. It looked like Dana Carvey in the Master of Disguise. Like when you're, he wasn't turtle enough for the turtle club. Turtle, turtle. <laughs> turtle, turtle. I don't know what he was like. He was trying to do his Austin Powers there. Like, that was supposed to be his fucking Austin Powers, but it just failed so bad, man. I, I just kind of want to watch it just for the fuck of it, though, because he was an interesting guy. To like, He was on uh, the podcast, uh, the Dan Harmon podcast. It's called Harmon Town. It was, uh, you know, the guy that made Rick and Morty. And it was kind of crazy to hear him on there talking about some of the shit from back in the day. 
I love that shit. I'm gonna share that shit with you if I find it. So, oh, he yeah, they had heat together. Like, well, I think Dana Carvey didn't even want to do fucking part two of that shit. He was just, you know, you 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 grow apart from people. So, you know, there has has there ever been a fucking team of, of uh, people like a. a like whether it's a comedy team or a fucking rock band or you know any any type of entertainment to where they've fucking not fallen out like i mean either sometimes you know the fucking people they commit suicide to get out of the group like you're forever out of the group of the world not only the fucking band that you're in But, like, people just don't fucking stick around, you know? You make other friends and shit, and I'm sure Dana Carvey was like, oh, I want to go on my, my own, and I want to have my uh, my fucking Paul McCartney moments and shit, because right now I'm in the Beatles, the one of the top comedy teams in the world, Mike Myers and Dana Carvey. Holy shit, we're making all these Wayne World movies and shaking up the world. Egos break shit up. Yeah, but I mean, you want to. He he wanted to be his own star though. I know shit. Oh, Penn and Teller together still. Yeah, they're like a fucking magic, uh, magical married couple though. Magical married couple, magicians, comedian magicians. That's true, but I mean, I wonder if they had a falling out too at a certain point to where they weren't making stuff, and you know they weren't their relationship isn't. It's not out there on the social medias, you know? So people wouldn't follow them enough to know that their fucking marriage was on the rocks. Their professional marriage was on the rocks. But I mean, what, you know, Abbott and Costello, were they together forever until they, until they, the day they died? I don't know. I have to do a shitty movie tournament. What do you mean by, by that? Like, a tournament? What kind of tournament are we like talking about? Or like movie trivia or a tournament? I want to do a movie something, man. I want to fucking like come up with a movie idea that we can feed to people on Fiverr and then showcase the fucking videos. Like have a dude, that'd be sick. Like, all right, we come up with like three ideas. I don't know, to just do like a night of like viewing shit that we came up with, like really dumb shit on stream, pay somebody to do it and have like a fucking night where we view, we we watch all that shit. So it's like a like you're showing all the fucking shorts like I can I can. Well, I'd have to watch them first because I want to make sure there's no dirty shit in them. But <laughs> that sucks. But I'd, I'd unveil them to you guys, though, I guess. Put movies together like Pluto, Nash, Lover. Oh, OK. Put movies together. Pluto Nash versus Love Guru. So what do you mean, like... Uh, but are you saying movies that are alike that would go against each other? Or are you saying, like, uh, make a better movie to where your combination... Which one is shittier? Oh. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever watched the whole thing of Pluto Nash and... The the Love Guru is not the best fucking <laughs> Mike Myers movie, but there's still some stupid ass shit in there that's funny though. It still kind of holds up as fucking just really fucking stupid, but it's by far the fucking silliest fucking shit that he's come up with though. But it's funny on the Workaholics they do all three where it's Wayne's World, Austin Powers, and the Love Guru. <laughs> all all three guys are dressed as one fucking you know uh, Mike Myers movie. That's really fucking great, though. That kind of made it funnier to me, though, because I went back and watched it again. It's just fucking Mike Myers doesn't give a fuck, though. That's the whole point of, of all of his movies. He doesn't give a shit about anything. So he plays this fucking silly ass, dumb ass character riding a carpet around and shit, which is racist for today. Right. So <laughs> you can't do that shit anymore. But all that stuff is just our relics now because, you know. Everything's getting so censored and, and sensitive and, and all the S words censored, sensitive. <laughs> it's, it's, it's shit is, is the main S word, right? 
I think I think it's having an angsty teen phase, Hollywood. And then and then we're gonna come out of it and we're gonna learn from all this shit because Adam was on Theo podcast and he said they used to have forty six comedies a year. Are you talking about movies? But I think I think the comedy is is it's not dead, but it's definitely on life support though. Now there's six. So what, what movies are coming out? Horror movies, action, uh, superhero movies are coming out. That's all that's really coming out right now. Now we're in an awkward fucking phase right now. We need to find the blockbuster again, man. We need to find like the the comedy blockbuster, like Bad Boys, and you know, fucking. Well, why am I naming fucking Martin Lawrence uh, movies? But Nothing to Lose and <laughs> Blue Streak and all that shit. He said Marvel killed it. Yeah. Marvel killed it for now, but we're we're get, we have to get into a, a point where we're, we just like we abandon that shit though, because you know superhero movies were great up until the movie Endgame, as far as Marvel went, and then they fucking then they started to destroy shit little by little, because they lost the fucking thread of why that shit was successful in the first place. They 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 just started fucking doing whatever shit. Like I mean, they're checking all these boxes of diversity. That's great, but. You have enough money to where you can make a fucking a movie about every race at every at one time, <laughs> you know. Like have a movie where it's all, you know, about this Asian village. Have this movie where it's about this, you know, Wakandan area. You don't have to even include white people. Whatever the fuck you want to do, <laughs> but make some original characters, man. Like fuck, or or take some of the if you want to adapt something take a storybook that you know is from african culture or jamaican culture and make that shit like a new folklore you know we want something new dude like you're live actioning every all this stuff and 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 just i mean <laughs> live actioning and what what is the other one uh affirmative actioning too Live affirmative actioning. But if they have comedy movies, they will have two comedies go head to head. That's kind of that's kind of what you want, honestly. Like, I mean, you want people to try to up the ante. You want Coke and Pepsi of comedy. You want like one company making this shit and another company coming out like DC and Marvel. You want that kind of head to head, like who's doing better type of shit. It, it creates, you know, controversy and it puts people in seats too, though. So if you have fucking comedies that are going head to head and shit like that then fuck it you know well this guy's talking about movies i don't want to watch that <laughs> two people said they came in here and checked out the stream and left not if they have six a year yeah oh yeah i know what you mean by that yeah but i think that comedy is going to have a resurgence man it's going to be there's going to be a, an awakening. There's going to be a revolution to where people are going to be like, oh, shit, man, they're making shit right now. They're making trash. So what the fuck? You know, we need to step up and be the new rock stars out there. We need to be the fucking, you know, like the Steven Spielberg of our time or the Robert Zemeckis of our time and shit. You know, people who change the fucking landscape like there hasn't been that. You know, there's probably a lot of indie guys, you know, they have to fund it on their own if they want to make their passion project. But if you make some studio shit these days, it has to check all the boxes. And sometimes there isn't, you know, if, you, if you're doing a genre movie, there isn't a, a, that many boxes to check. You know what I'm saying? You're making a story that's about an individual or you're making a story about a community. You're making a story about two communities that come together who are different, but you know, then they fucking find out they're not so different. So, you know, it's like, but you have to fucking leave some check boxes out. You don't have to check all the boxes. You you, you know, sometimes for a movie, you only have to check, check two or three, not a fucking, you know, 45 boxes. Like, oh, is there a certain type of person in there? Is there a certain type of uh, gender in there? Is, there? is everybody represented equally? <sighs> You walk into the DMV, it's not going to be like you're, you're just going to see half women, half men. And then, you know, not every diver, you know, every nationality is going to be in there. But if you watch a TV show, then every nationality has to be in the room at once. So nobody has an individual voice anymore. So by them saying that they are making sure everybody is 
kind of represented. <laughs> it, it just makes really generic characters that don't even fit the story. You're thinking about it too much. Or be the Reno 911 guys. You're thinking about it too much. Have it be more organic, you know? Have it be a personal story that happened to you. Who was there at the time? What was, when you go hang out, I mean, yeah, you're at the at the office all the time. They kind of want to represent at Disney, you know, the people that are working on the projects and stuff now. But if you have a million different people, like a, a movie sometimes should be a contained story about a couple of individuals that, you know, and it, it has to stay that way. But when you have everybody's voice being heard about everything, then it becomes disjointed. And it's like, oh, there's too many voices here. I can't even fucking hear myself, you know, think right now because too many people touched this movie. Too many people wrote on this shit. Too many people did the art. So the, the art style has like 16 different fucking, like it doesn't, it doesn't gel together. The writing style doesn't gel together because it's fucking 16 different corporate guys coming in there and saying, hey, we got to check these boxes. What are you doing? The theater goers, whoever's sitting in the seats, they have to see themselves. But, oh, I can see, I can't see myself in a, in a fucking, like, Look at that. I can see myself in that little mermaid character. Like that's that's who you're following in the kit in the movie. So you attach yourself to that character, right? She's a, a female fish that has red hair, like the most opposite thing to me <laughs> possible, and I care about what happened to her in the movie as a kid. I was like, "Oh shit, I want her to find, you know, her prince and shit, you know? I want her to be saved from this ocean that she doesn't want to <laughs> fucking be in." But people don't understand that shit, man. Like you know, I fucking, I, I, I really felt bad for the fucking candlestick in Beauty and the Beast, bro. I'm not a candlestick, though. I'm not a fucking candlestick. It sounds like a, a kids in the hall skit, right? I'm not a fucking candlestick. Well, nobody said you're a candlestick. But I'm not a candlestick. Yeah, you said that. The Little Merman. Little Merman. I don't give a fuck if it was the Little Merman, honestly. Like, just make it a good story about not somebody that's not Ariel. Like, make it, you know, Ariel. Have Ariel be in there. Make a whole, a whole bunch of like, you know, how Barbie had different characters and shit. Was it just Black Barbie back in the day, or did they, did she have an identity? What's her name? Let's look that shit up, man. I don't want to be sexist about this or. Or make it seem like I'm being rude. Black Barbie doll. Is that a racist way to... Black Barbie dolls. Names. Sorry. This is a... I didn't know I was going to be Googling this tonight. Here. Uh... Okay, Francie, 1967, Christy, 1968, and Julia, 1969, but 19-inch influential black Barbie dolls, bro. Come on, dude. We're learning together tonight. <laughs> I'm honestly curious, though, because, I mean, you know, it shouldn't be just Barbie's identity, you know. Male Cinderella. Cinderfella, right? Cinderfella. No, Black Barbie is not brats, dude. I don't know. <laughs> what part of town did you hear that from? What part of town you been in here? Ranger Joe. I just want to know like what what the one was like in the nineties or whatever that was. And her Barbie. Barbie. Their name can't be the, the Gabby Douglas. Oh, is that just like a track star that had her likeness made as a Barbie doll? 
I wish I could show this stuff right now, but I just I don't know how to do it with just the YouTube app. So just use your imagination. I'm just surprised this fucking works though. It's been almost three hours, man. This this stream is pointless. I've done nothing on this shit of value, man. A three hour test. I just that that time just flew by, man. That's kind of wild. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. I fucked up that last note, man. My, <clears throat> my throat did a little, <clears throat> you know, so. That's what happens sometimes, baby. To all our company. <clears throat> M-I-C. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we love you. M O U S E. Actually, uh, M O U S E. That was the new uh, Mickey Mouse Club. You are here to all be friends. You may be M I C K E Y. M O U S E, rock the house, Mickey Mouse. Hey, rock the house, Mickey Mouse. I think that was when freaking Justin Timberlake was on that shit, though. A Mickey Mouse, rock the house. Yeah, a Mickey Mouse, rock the house. Mm, 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 yeah, but I got some ideas for fucking story. Like, I I put some. You got to see how this AI does shit, man. Honestly, easy three J. <laughs> What's that fucking uh oh shit, dude? With a nick 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 nick. <laughs> the fucking uh, what is it? Uh, damn, I know it's Parenthood, but I don't know if he had he had like a, a sports drink or something. I haven't even thought about that shit in a while, man. It's a little commercial that he did for the sports drink and shit. Easy 3J. <laughs> Fucking 3J. Right, 3J uh, tried to be a rapper on Family Matters and shit. Yeah, I know. I know 3J from Family Matters. Yeah, I know. What did I, what did I say that made you think that I'm, I was talking about? So I know, I know who 3J is. I don't even know what the fuck I just said, man. It's way past my bedtime right now. Shit's fucking fun, though, dude. I don't care if I had three viewers tonight. I didn't even expect to have that, so... At least I wasn't sitting here by myself the whole time. And if I'm going to have a test... Who better than you to have a test with, man? You went parahood with uh, Nick playing hockey. Oh, but I didn't think that was. Uh, I was just saying, like, I, I didn't remember what. Okay, so I didn't express that. I was talking about the other show. <laughs> but I, I made that transition of, like, I, I didn't remember what the fuck 3J did. But I think 3J was kind of a character that was. Hmm. Was he more like the, the kid on fucking. Uh, that's so Raven, but when he was younger, what what else was he on? He was on another show, I think, where he was younger. But anyway, yeah, well, you know, a fucking, I guess, a fat-ish kid. Three J was, I can't remember what the fuck Three J looks like now. I know it wasn't him though. That's the whole. That's my whole point. All that shit that I just said. That was my point. <laughs> I know who fucking Three J is, but. I don't remember what he looks like, though. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. He was Tiger in Major Pain. 
Oh, the kid that, yeah, the kid that, okay. Damn, Major Pain, I got to watch that shit too. Thanks for that suggestion because that's a fucking good one. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to shove my foot so far up your ass that the water in my knee is going to quench your thirst. What did he say he's going to shove his knee up his head? I was just thinking about how the water would get from the knee to the to the foot, but I was overthinking that shit. Like, <laughs> I'll shove my foot so far up your ass that the water in my knee is going to quench your thirst. I don't... My shit... My, I don't know how the fuck... Maybe I'm getting the fucking line wrong. Anyway, hearts in the chat. Hearts in the chat, man. Hearts in the chat. Hearts in the... <laughs> When I start failing, I'll just do hearts in the chat. Yeah, Hillary was in that shit. I remember. I remember Hillary being in that. Yeah. Dude, I, I'm going to have fucking fun with that little hearts shit, though. Whenever I start fucking slipping, I'll just be like hearts in the chat. <laughs> Get the spirits back up. Reset the fucking room. Come back with a vengeance. Butter my biscuits and go home. You know what I mean? And go home. Hillary from Frey, yeah. No, she she was gorgeous, man. Was she in uh she was in class act, I think, too. Uh, she was like leading lady material back then, so I don't know if she's been anything since all that though. I wanna say was she in class act though? I can't I don't remember. That's another one I would watch, man. You want to talk about like some some good old fashioned, you know, like, you know, movie movie about uh, two boys of color, right? And I love that shit. I can follow that character. We're gonna follow those characters and have fun. They had the they had, they were basically Abbott and Costello or fucking Martin and Lewis at that point because one was the cool guy, and one is the fucking nerd man. They played that shit like. How the old school comedians they, in the nineties they were still doing fucking what old school comedians had had taught their ass and shit. You you, you know you take like the movie fucking House Party and shit. The, both of those guys were contrasting characters, but they got together and fucking sang and danced and shit. Like what the fuck? I think I think Kid was more outgoing in that fucking movie, but you know he was the nerd in class. Class act is a fucking classic, like. That shit is fucking awesome, man. I would still go back and watch that shit. It's just one of those silly comedies that you wouldn't even see anymore, man, that are, you know, it's fucking decent enough acted to where it's still fucking hilarious and has memorable shit going on. The LeBron James house party? Yeah, I didn't even watch all that shit. I watched the first and the second one. Maybe the third. I think the third one was, yeah. Oh, because the second one was when they had the pajama jammy jam, right, where they... <laughs> they went and fucking had like you know they're in the pajamas at the at the college. I think they went off to college in that one. But after that, man, House Party Three is like I remember one of the lines from House Party Three. I'm pretty sure this is from that one. And uh, they're like, uh, uh, they're like, oh, it's like don't worry about that on on the TV, Grandma. That's Ninja Turtles. And she's like, that's not Ninja Turtles. That's that ass because they, they have playing fucking porno. Like, I guess they, they had a Ninja Turtles tape or something that they put in. And it was supposed to be Ninja Turtles, but it was actually porn that somebody brought. I don't fucking remember how, but she's like, that's not Ninja Turtles. That's that ass. <laughs> it was porno. So I remember I remember that, that line. So that's the only fucking thing I remember from the movie, man. I, I don't remember shit else, like. You know, I watched the fucking orderlies with the fat boys back in the 80s at the theater, but all I remember the, them doing is fucking running around in orderly fucking outfits and shit, you know? The orderlies, just three fat fucks running around in, in orderly, like, white, I think it's all, like, all white fucking clothes and shit. You know, random movies like Nuns on the Run, you know, two English guys, they fucking trying to hide out from people and they fucking... You know, they put on nun costumes and think people think that they're fucking women nuns, like, and they straight up look like men, but they're just doing horrible. Sounds like a man doing a woman voice voice. Like, it's fucking horrible. You could totally tell us a dude, but are they are they being so nice and like, uh, you know, Catholic and, 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 and innocent that they, uh, you know, 
these guys could be even transgenders at the time, you know, like, or maybe they're just like, so who the fuck knows, man. You ever seen the movie Dr. Giggles about a, a dentist that fucking murders people with a fucking dental drill? Like, I mean, that's, that's the type, this is the type of shit that you find late night on USA. You know what I mean? The channel USA. This is the audience that I want to bring in, which is the people who fucking grew up in the late 80s, early 90s watching shit like fucking USA late at night. You find a movie like Career Opportunities or some shit on or Summer School or some kind of fucking teenage uh, flick where, you know, it's like a Skinamax movie that they poured it over, but they censor out all the fucking dirty bits. Toxic Crusader or some shit or. Something fucking filthy as fuck. They shouldn't be watching, but they show you, you know, most of the movie without all the filth. They might fucking put like a, did they put like black bars up and shit sometimes? Or like just put the, do the fucking mosaic across it or nice doggy. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Are you just like, uh, as I'm rambling, you're just going to throw me other fucking little lines to say? Because that's what it seems like. Nice dog. Yo, hi, Mark. So should we have a viewing of that fucking movie? And if I record it and maybe I, if I cut it up and I edit it to be like a review, then we could just fucking talk shit about it. And then I'll just talk about it in the review. Then like, what the fuck? I think that I, I find that that's the best fucking route that a lot of these people take. Like they just record something and then just edit it. So you know, if it's transformative and shit, like if we have the edits in there, music over it, all that type of shit. Adult Swim showed it with black bars over the tits. <laughs> which which movie? Which movie are you talking about? Is that about summer school? I wanna I wanna to talk to like viewers that knew what Parker Lewis can't lose is, you know, like should I change the fucking title of the stream that I'm looking for 80s and 90s kids to fucking come hang out and shit. If you're, I want you, this is the demographic that I want, man. I want nerds of a certain age to flock to this shit, man. Oh, the room, the room. Okay. Okay. I thought, yeah, you did say the, the reference from it, but it's still... I've been talking about, I, I talk about so much shit. It'd be good, like, you know, like I said, for us to actually talk over the the voice chat. <laughs> and uh, we, we could have just a fucking watch party of some stupid shit somewhere and record that. Fucking I'll edit the shit up. Cut it down. Make it consumable. Like fucking 23 minutes, like an episode on TV. But I'm telling you, like, the little stories that we come up with and shit, we can come up with some fucking crazy stories, do the characters' uh, voices for the most part. <coughs> Even if we trained AI to do both of our fucking voices, they can finish it up for us. Lisa and the guy about to fuck, and Mark comes in and jumps on the bed. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> He's got his dick out. Oh, hi, Mark. What was his name? Uh, Tommy Wiseau. Yeah. What is his name in the in the movie? Is it still Tommy or? Oh, that, that's another one I haven't watched. Is that fucking one with uh? uh, 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 uh What's his fucking name, man? I guess his name is Tommy in the fucking movie. Oh, hey Tommy, you're my favorite character. Uh, favorite character. Favorite customer. When he comes into the, I think it's the flower shop or whatever. Hi, Tommy. You're my favorite customer. And he's, I think that's when he goes, hi, doggy, or some shit. I can't remember. Is that, I think that's the scene. I did not hit her. I did not. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Which is that fucking... Uh, you're tearing me apart from... Uh, fuck, man. What is his goddamn name? He was in Rebel Without a Cause, man. Uh, James Dean. James Dean. Rebel Without a Cause. So that's the thing. The 80s was very much a holdover of older films, too, because they would play all that shit uh, on TV. So 
you know, I'd watch AMC, I'd watch fucking USA, I'd watch, uh, you know, we had the fucking black box, so I'd watch all types of fucking shit, you know, movies and shit like that on there, so. I had access to a lot of fucking genres, so the, the, that's why I don't really pick genre. Like, you know, I don't have a favorite genre of film. Whatever the fuck the, the movie is, if it's good, it could be a fucking romantic comedy. It could be fucking fantastic, but. In the 80s and 90s, like romantic comedies was a different, a whole different fucking definition, though. So, romantic comedy now is like, what the? F- this is all right. So, you're making one of those that has the DVD cover that has like fucking Rob Lowe and, and you know, fucking Danny Glover, or there's fucking tons of fucking, you know, little thumbnails on the fucking. DVD cover of everybody that's in the fucking movie because they're trying to get the star power to sell the movie. Oh, Renaissance Man. Yeah, I want to I check out Renaissance Man, actually. That's a good one to put on the list. Also, I wanted uh, my girl to see um, Awakenings with uh, Danny... De- uh, fuck. You, you got Danny DeVito in my head. I, I just read the shit. With uh, Robin Williams and um, Robert De Niro. And both of them play characters that are outside of their fucking looks like outside of their comfort zone. Yeah, like Valentine's Day with all the stars. Yeah, exactly. I think there's another one like the day or some shit with Jack Black and like uh, 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 what's her name, Kate Winslet, and you know a bunch of other fucking people and that shit. I think it's uh, what the fuck is the guy's name? English guy. Anyway, you know they yeah exactly like that like fucking putting. <laughs> Tons of stars on there. If you have Jack Nicholson and fucking Adam Sandler, or oh, Hugh Grant, uh, he does shit like that too. Like uh, nine months or some shit. I think it was him and um, was it? Damn, I have her name around right the tip of my tongue. She did like Boogie Nights and shit. Uh, dang man, she has red hair. Yeah, Tom Arnold. I, I thought about him at first too. Who I think was Robin Williams the doctor in that shit though. I think Robin Williams was the fucking doctor, wasn't he? That couldn't have been because yeah, I was. Why the fuck am I thinking? Because that, that's a whole different era though. Yeah, but Ken Jong, I was getting that fucking confused because that's. I think that's knocked up though, right? Seeing if there's anything in my teeth, man. Yeah, that's that's a fucking classic movie, though, man. Like, I mean, I don't know how I'm making the jump in my head right now to the movie Junior, where uh, fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think I think it was around the same time period. Maybe that's what it is. But uh, or or we could have maybe watched that at my aunt's house and shit too. Uh, you know, watched like fucking nine months and then had the VHS tape for Junior and shit because. When Blockbuster got shut down, we just bought a bunch of fucking VHS tapes. So I know I had that one. I know I had both of those. I had the movie Frauds with fucking uh, Phil Collins and the shit where it's him and, and this this chick kills this guy with a crossbow because she didn't know that uh, he was playing a, a prank on her. And it was her friend coming in. Julianne Moore, exactly. Julianne Moore, Boogie Nights. And uh, so he was playing a prank, and then she she thought it was a burglar, like a real burglar, and, and she fucking shot the dude with a crossbow, and he got stuck to the fucking like uh, it was a, it was a chair, like a fu- you know like a like a fucking you know like a fucking you know one that would match a couch and shit. Why am I going to so so into describing a chair? But let's say he got a fucking crossbow, and the 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 rope fucking attached them to the fucking chair, basically. So. And then she's like crying as she knows she realizes it was her friend. She's like, ah, falls to the ground. There's a fucking scene where like Phil Collins' brother gets pushed into uh, a fucking pool. He's in a wheelchair and he he, he doesn't have use of his body. I guess he, he's like a in a in a waking coma. I don't fucking he's he's just the dude's frozen in this chair and he they push him into the fucking water and Phil Collins has to fish him out and shit. Has the also the dude that um played in Lord of the Rings and he was uh 
what is it, Agent Smith in the uh, in the Matrix and shit. Mr. Anderson. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm all over the place right now. I've reached that point after, what is it, fucking 5 a.m.? Three hours and nine minutes. Where I'm just rambling and rambling. We're like, oh, remember this actor? Remember this actor? Fuck you, right? Fuck you, I bid you adieu. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this shit right now, man. It's been three hours and ten minutes. But let's just put some hearts in the chat first, you know? Hearts in the chat. Hearts in the chat. Hearts in the chat. Yeah, yeah, hearts in the chat. Nice. Nice. I can't wait to have, like, you know, like at least, like, ten viewers and have them be fucking flooding the, the chat with hearts and stuff and emojis. That's a fucking sick idea. That's really just instant uh, gratification right there. It's like when you're getting points in a video game. You're shooting somebody and, like, points are just fucking flying off his head like that. But I, I don't like that when it's, you know, a more realistic shooter. Like, that takes me out of the fucking experience. If it's an arcade, you know, like they, they have in VR, there's a fucking arcade like, shooting experience that, you know, points pop off everywhere. You're grabbing fucking hourglasses that give you more time and the shit and all that, so. Real fucking arcade -y. You don't have to, well, I think you still have to, like, fucking load the gun and, and cock the shit and all that, so. You're waiting the whole stream for me to say cock, right? Cock the gun. You little sick pervert. You're a sick little nasty sex, oh, sexual little sex pervert. The perversions that you've seen. The DoorDash American Pie nod. What does that mean? Is that like a commercial or something? Or? You can count on me. No matter what you do, you can count on me. No matter where you are, you can count on me. Jason Biggs, DoorDash American Pie. No, I didn't, I didn't see that one. I don't know. Maybe I did, but I don't even remember. Oh, was that when he was being real awkward and shit? Like, what would... Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, why the fuck was Jason Biggs being so awkward in that commercial? He went to answer the door, and I, don't, I really don't understand why he makes the face at the DoorDash person, though. I, I don't know what... I've watched it multiple times. I still don't understand why the fuck he, he does that face, though. What, was there, is there something that was cut out? That we were supposed to see that somebody accidentally fucking cut? Like, I don't get the fucking shit. It's, like, really stupid. There's no context to why he's fucking, like, making a crazy face of the guy. Like, like he was embarrassed. But what the fuck did he say? Did I miss that shit? I don't fucking know, man. But, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, man. All right, we're going to go ahead and end this shit right here because Stifler shows up. Oh, but wasn't he looking at the fucking DoorDash guy? Like, I mean, I don't know, man. I got to watch this shit again. I don't fucking know. Maybe maybe I was, like, lost in a fucking some shit. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, man. So uh, for those of you who are enjoying a good morning, good morning. But for the rest of you, good afternoon, good evening. And buenas noches. Uh, we'll see you next time, folks. I wish I had some like fucking music or something to play here, but I don't give a fuck what you do. I bid you adieu. All right. Eye contact. Complete and utter eye contact. I'm looking into your soul right now, dude. Staring right into your fucking soul. 
You think I'll go on like this for another few minutes? Never mind. Fuck that shit. <laughs>